following, following the following journey into comics. Journey into comics. It's a journey into comics. Journey into comics. Journey into comics. Journey into comics. Network. 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 Production. Production. Look at my economy. It's so great. I mean, look at things. I'm making money. You're making money. Everybody's making money. It's like it's gonna go, and people go, are gonna go. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Podcastrophy, episode 100. 100! We got Tyler. Hello there. We got Matt. Hi. We got Brandon again. Ah! (laughs) (laughs) And welcome back, the pod father himself, Nate Phillips. Wow, that was fucking... I'm Energy. like humbled. That was insane. I can't follow you like that. Is he trying to do like a Paul Heyman? That was great. It was great though. I love well, it. Well, like halfway through my introduction to Nate, I was like, I'm literally speaking word for word the JIC intro. <laughs> and That's so awesome. I was like, I actually have to go into it now. <laughs> okay, might as well. Yeah, fuck it. My face hurts. God damn, we're at 100. Yeah, I can't believe you guys made it here, yeah. and I did very little work. We started from the bottom, and we're still on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we're wow. fucking straight bikini bottom, bro. Yes. <laughs> we ain't never left. We, we plateaued at the bottom. <laughs> you know, it's like SpongeBob when him and Patrick get fucking <laughs> stranded in rock bottom. Yeah. And then there's that creepy thing. <laughs> yep. I thought Patrick was with him, too. No, they went to the at like, first. Bottom world, and then Patrick was still yep. on the bus where yep. SpongeBob got yep. off. You well, guys have watched way the fuck more Spongebob than I ever cared to. Same. <laughs> I'm like, what I'm the lost. fuck are they talking about? like, but why? It's a fantastic show. Not that it's a bad show. It's a I show mean... that was actually proven scientifically to make our youth dumber. That's funny. Listen, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's honest. You're a product of the Look show. Look where it got me. <laughs> right here. Yeah. I'm Rock. very content with my life right now. Rock bottom. And I love Spongebob memes. I feel like I want to steal it for a second and just say, Brando, I'm so stoked that we did 96 together to yeah. set this up. Like, That's fun. Fuck you, man. I yeah. love you. But it was so much cooler to have that conversation a little bit more personal mm-hmm. to be able to now celebrate, you know, yeah. which is where we are. And that's fucking truly beautiful. Fuck and yeah. also, I want to say one other last thing for those who are watching the show. My sunglasses are only because this bright fucking yeah, light, we got a new that light Dick has on and I don't want to get a migraine. We got, we got a new light. <laughs> Uh, Miranda helped me put it up. Sweet. By that, I mean, I slept right over there, and she did the whole thing. (laughs) Oh, my God. Why would you admit that? Because I fell asleep. Why am I not surprised? I fell asleep. She was just doing (laughs) it. Tyler's unfazed. It's like you expected expected (laughs) him to do something. Hey, have you hooked up your new washer dryer yet? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, did you do it? No, she did it. (laughs) There you go. Because I've never done anything like that. She just just does things without telling me. It screws and, like... Oh, I know. Do you know what I had to do once? Replace the power cable for a dryer? That's what. That's what. That's exactly what we did. You know what? It really wasn't that hard. Although I almost died. You didn't shut the power (laughs) off first, did you? Well, (laughs) no, (laughs) no, I did not. And well, and the thing is, is that there may have been a little, and I went, I can turn power off. (laughs) Thankfully, all is well. But I did it, and I. And I, nobody else had to experience that. And, you know, lucky for you, your washer is right by your breaker box. Exactly. So you just, just turned around steps. and were like, oh, no big deal. Which one is it here? Oh. <laughs> I would have had to, like, fucking walk through the other end of my house, and that's, like, you know, stupid. That 240 would have lit you up, too. It wouldn't have felt very oh, good. Oh, no. no. Been tangling. Fucking expert over here. Yeah. I mean, I am the electrician. <laughs> you are. You are. <laughs> that's me. about pepperoni pizzas. I'm an expert at that. How many pepperoni, Just pepperoni? How, how many pepperonis go on a small, 12 inch, thin, at Monocles? 12, 12 inch, thin? Well, it depends. You want to have pepperoni? Regular pepperoni. Yeah, just as it comes. Standard. It is 21 now. Now, 21? Oh, it's 21. Wow. Oh. What are the rows? What are the rows? I normally do two rows of six and fives and then four. Yeah. 
That's how we did it back at the monocles. We'd be like, all right, four rows of four, two rows of five for a large. It's probably more now well, since you just... To up which, the ante, Matt, if you want to make delicious uh, sub sandwiches, I've got you beat, sir. We do that at Monocles, too. Yeah, but not as good as Penn Station. Probably not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got you. They're whipping out the restaurant dishes now. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I'm not getting into this competition because it's not fair. <laughs> Did you work at Subway? I worked at Subway. I worked at McDonald's. I've Monocles. Lot, Monocles as well. The Pizza Hut. No, I never worked at Pizza never... Hut. Fuck that place. I worked at um, Michigan. Who's Ooh, buddy. I was just there the other day, brother. Nice. Fuck Luma, that, too. Lou Malnati's is better. Lou Malnati's is better, but... Um, Man. Pretty much if, if it's a restaurant that existed in Hoopston, you've almost worked it up, like at it. Yeah. Or knew um, somebody that worked there. Yeah. That so... almost pretty much included that you would almost work there too because you just hung around there so much. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> you just that weren't on really the payroll. <laughs> um, food life is weird though. Like McDonald's, man, I worked there for fucking four years total. Mm-hmm. Fuck that, dude. It made me really hate corporations and see like what America really is. Like it opens it up because as a kid, you're exposed to it a little bit and then I quit. You were there when I quit. Yeah. They they fucking fucked me on Valentine's Day, and we played a show in our basement and scared some chicks away. Yeah, we did. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Story. We didn't have any PA at all, so we just screamed the lyrics yeah. at them. Of it course. It was fucking hysterical. Of course. You know. <laughs> we record... Dude, there, there's, a, there's a cassette tape somewhere. What? You remember that? We actually recorded that. No, Not that God. one, but like the oh. practice leading up to it. We put the tape deck or tape player yeah. like up at the top of the stairs. And we hit record. We ran downstairs, and and played and screamed at the top of our lungs, all of us, just to make sure it was heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome! And it's awesome. funny because the drummer couldn't, uh, Mason, he couldn't, like, he didn't know the drum fills. Silence. So like he would stop, and we would all stop, and we would jump right back in. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode four of the OGs. <laughs> Since three is already recorded, apparently. It is. It is. It actually, is. yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a crazy you thing. You watch your tone, fella. We have a podcast <laughs> again shit. together. That's we cool. do, we do, and it kind of like came from this podcast. Yeah, in so a way. Thank which you this for giving us the came platform. From our podcast. It's fucking inceptive. Man, we are begetting all over this motherfucker. I, 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 we begat, they begat, we begat I, again. I, I. You know, I, I think it, I think it is really awesome that you guys did episode ninety six together. Like like you were saying, like it was cool that we got to do that. Or that you guys got to do that, and because that yeah, was you weren't a part of no, it. No, 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 <laughs> no. Um, you knew nothing. But, but it was something that, like, I had wanted to do. Like, I was like, man, they're not talking to each other. One's one's always too busy, or the other's always too busy, and it's just not happening. It was just the phone call had yeah, to happen. Yeah, yeah, we exactly. Texting, but it wasn't exactly. like fully not talking. And I, I was I like say. sitting there, like, man, what if I just got them both on a podcast and we just hashed it out there? But then I'm like, okay, is that too personal of a thing to do? Is that my place to do? And then you guys just did it. <laughs> Blaine and I have been scheming on how to get you guys yeah, reunited yeah. for a well, long okay. time. Well, okay, okay. So, so first of all, in a way, in a way, I, I think it was better to happen the way that it happened because if we would have yeah. done it a year ago, maybe maybe emotions would have been a little too high. It definitely wouldn't have been recorded. Yeah, not at all. Nope. And that's not to say that things wouldn't have been okay, but because it was fresh, like, because it wasn't so fresh, because we can look at it in the rearview mirror and look at it objectively. Hear what I had to say. Hear what you had to say. Okay. It's done. It's over. That's it. I mean... We're good at that, making up stuff. We've done it a couple well, times I, over life, because it's life, man. <clears throat> you have okay. bumps along the road. And here's the thing. It, always my there fault, There was never way, any malice. To be clear. <laughs> I mean, it was always my me fault. Me leaving was never any malice. And Totally. I do remember that weekend, because we, cause we talked maybe that Friday... It's a Friday that me and you went and saw Infinity War for the mm-hmm. second time, and we listened to these old people react mm-hmm. very funnily <laughs> and loudly to the moments in Infinity War. And we were mm-hmm. just, like, giggling. <laughs> but, like... Uh, I forgot know. about the old people. But, yeah, like... <laughs> me and you're sitting here just... You Brent, and your... <laughs> my monster tub of popcorn. <laughs> Brandon, as, as per usual. Brandon and I are munching on popcorn, and this, this fucking group of old people are just losing their shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually, you know, because we'd already, we, we'd both already seen Infinity War once, so we've already reacted. Yep, yeah, we've we've already, you know, had the highs and lows and and experienced it, you know. So we were just going there to mm-hmm. hang out and pick out any new things that we may have missed, Easter eggs and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I had a hard time focusing on the movie because these fucking old people were so hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. So I mean, that, that's all you can really ask for is like a good movie yeah. experience. Yeah. You That's know, all it, we it, ever ask It's for. the shit that I always preach about, you know, as long as the experience is good, I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah. So I definitely got my money's worth as far as experience goes. Mm-hmm. 
And we got to see it together. Mm-hmm. What I wanted to say, though, is that when I texted you that last time for a while, it was never, it was never goodbye. And I, and I even told you then, this isn't goodbye. This yeah. is just to see you later for now. And things got here, and I couldn't have it there. You Correct. know, uh, if you want to listen to that deep conversation, go listen to Podcast Free 96. Mm-hmm. It's really it, fucking good. And there good. is no video of it, though. That's no, very no, important. No, no, no video. No video. Because I, I love your little, your little face. smoke screen live stream. Because <laughs> I was in it, like, just fucking lighting you up with comments. And I was like, okay, how long? How much longer is Nate going to drag this out? Because you had told me. You I didn't had tell to. Me, you didn't tell me, to. like, the whole thing. Yeah. But you did tell me that you were only going to live stream for a little bit. And I was like, okay, I'm going to blow this fucker up as long as I can. <laughs> Keep it going. You know, just to drag it out a little bit longer. Yeah, but, I was like, oh, I think I can, you, know, you know, I was like, I think I was telling you about my plans for podcast. I was like, I think I'm only going to do 30 minutes or whatever, mm-hmm. you know. And then I think it went, like, 43. And true story, <laughs> if you want it, I have the audio. It can go to your archives of never going to get fucking heard by anybody. <laughs> like Speaking the, of, that's on my list of things I want to talk about because you brought it up on JIC. Yeah, we called you uh, out, bro. Yeah, no. <laughs> you, you said that's a lost episode. And I was like, no, that was always meant to be bonus content. My episode. Yeah, or rainy day content. Oh, rainy You're rainy day. You are rainy literally day. the definition of rainy day content. Thank you. <laughs> Take that however you will, sir. I just did. That's I great. will <laughs> say that last week was an awesome rainy, rainy day content as my podcast, the Game Addicts Podcast, mm-hmm. pretty much sat here and did nothing, and we still got good content from mm-hmm. it. Hell yeah. Your guys' episode was phenomenal, by the yeah, way. That was a lot was of fun a to fun tune into episode. and listen to. God. And then, like, I wasn't, because I kind of got in on the middle of it, you know, when I finally logged in, and then I told you guys somewhere, and they're like, I'm going to go mow or some shit. And when I finally listened to it, I didn't realize it was going to also be the Game Addicts episode. And I was like, you guys, that's so fucking brilliant. Like, awesome for doing that. How oh, many yeah. times Like, how many times in Mike's life has he been speechless during a deep conversation? Not very many. <laughs> like, not something that's, like, uh, charged and controversial, like the conversation that we had as a group. Mm-hmm. He just sat there and was like, mm-hmm, yep, don't need to say yeah, anything. Yeah, normally he has input, mm-hmm. like... Like well, no, he was—he said he was agreeing. With and everybody. this isn't negative to Mike, but normally he has like, I have to talk about this input. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he'll like. I, I, I remember, that's a way vile for sure. I just remember working like I'm online. I'll be like back on station 15, and I'd, I'd be like having a conversation with Blaine or with Calvin. And fucking like Mike would be on pilot, and he'd come back there, and and it would be like somebody kicking down the fucking front door to tell me. Like, imagine a Jehovah's Witness shows up at your front door and kicks the fucker down. That was Jesus. Do you have time for it? <laughs> I'm here. Woo! Jesus, motherfucker, do you speak? It? <laughs> that's the episode title. <laughs> but that was you know that's oh, uh, that's great. I've known Mike as long as you've known yeah, Mike, roughly, and, and that's. That's how I've always known Mike. Maybe even longer. Maybe. Um, just not as consecutive. And it's just like, I, I love Mike to death, but he's as strong-willed as anybody. And, you know, we've all had l- our little piddly arguments about, like, like opinion stuff. Like, yeah, I think that game's shit. Well, no. <laughs> you know, and I do, no. I do the same thing. But I totally expected him to jump in there somewhere, and he just, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm, yep. Like it. Love it. Yee. <laughs> like it, love it, ye. <laughs> Podcast should be now available on iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> That's like live, laugh, love, except for trailer parks. <laughs> like it, love it, ye. I'm putting that on a sign for this room. <laughs> I'm going to spray a thing oh, just for man. you guys. <laughs> but before we get too deep in anything else, you know, we're celebrating episode 100. Another thing that I want to celebrate is it's motherfucking Shark Week, boys. This is a big deal for Tyler. Yeah, this is a big really fucking deal. Sharks. I'm, in, I'm into sharks. I sharks fucking love cool. the sharks, and I love the oceans, and probably three of the most important things on our planet right now are fucking bees, yep. sharks, <clears throat> yep. and the motherfucking coral reefs, and all three of them are not doing very well. Nope. Correct. So quit fucking up the oceans. I just saw an article yesterday about um, another bee farmer who had his entire fucking farm poisoned by somebody, like purposely, somebody went yeah. in and fucking poisoned his hives. Somewhere in the realm of 10 to 15 million bees. Jesus Christ. So, like, this guy had acres and acres that's of a, hives. That's a big dent in the community, mm-hmm. for sure. So, stop doing fucking dumb shit like that. All you people that think that bees aren't fucking... Would that be considered, like, eco-terrorism? Yes. 
It yeah. mo- it, well, if it's not, it most certainly should be. Yeah, not under sure. this, un- unfortunately, not under this administration. Right. That no. doesn't exist. But maybe it's, it's things awful. will be righted at some point. Soon, yeah. and, and, you know, we'll have some clarity. I mean, you know, I've, I've preached on the show a lot about how if we could just fucking educate people a little bit better then you know, most of the bigotry and the fucking hatred that we have in 2019 would just go away because people are fucking educated, you know? Um, if you're one of those people out there that disagrees with climate change, fine. You know, there's there's evidence supporting it both ways, and it, it, it's kind of just what side of the fence you want to lean on right now. But fucking bees are important, and anyone that disagrees is an idiot. I want to piggyback on something you just said a second ago, though. Uh, talking about how like bigotry and stuff runs rampant in our country. I saw a meme the other day. I know it's fucking memes, but it's it's worth bringing up here. But it was so poignant. They're totally fucking relevant in 2019. Fascism is cured by reading. Mm-hmm. Racism is cured by traveling. Yeah. It is so fucking true, man. Absolutely. Like, go educate yourself. Right go be in someone. You know, I was thinking about that today. I live in <clears throat> Hammond, Indiana, and we are a community of everybody. Mm-hmm. Every culture exists in my backyard and it's mostly peaceful the yep. only time the only time we have violence is from people from illinois coming to gary in that area and shooting people mm-hmm. it has nothing to do with our community though and i and if everybody had that kind of actual community where there was a little piece of everyone's pie in your backyard right you would appreciate things a lot more like i don't feel i know that there i'm sure there are people that feel weird when they walk into a gas station and there's an arab man there and i'm just like What's up, bro? How's it going? I need this. Yeah. It's not. It doesn't fucking yep. matter what it's, he's doing. It's, it's literally you know? just a man or a woman standing behind a cash register. Exactly. What's, what's telling you. you something? Who, what the fuck? Who cares if it's a robot? Here's here's the way to think about it too, and this is the way I'll help. I care cure. if it's a robot. Why? Because that's 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 Taking an, away that's an from... employment position. But what if they're sentient? <laughs> Ooh, you never thought about that, motherfucker. Oh, no. Like, they have fucking like, rights, like, too. Like HK-47 back there. <laughs> yeah. Holding his entire will to destroy you. Hello, meatbag. I was about to say <laughs> meatbag. <laughs> Excited greeting. Welcome to my store, meatbag. <laughs> May I interest you in <laughs> some of my beef jerky? Stellar. Like, this morning, <laughs> this stellar. morning, I, I went in and I bought a, a roll of chew. I am getting ready to start a journey to quit. Hey, congratulations, For like the 300th bro. 300th millionth time. Hey, I'll support you in that journey. But I'm going to try. Um, and, uh, like, there was a... Um, Are you going to get a can of that CBD heritage? I don't think so, because it's $28. Um, but I am going to get some... I, I think I am going to get uh, maybe not the, the iPod Shuffle vape that you have, but <laughs> maybe something a little bit larger just to, to do in the evenings. Maybe a little nicotine, too. I haven't decided, but... Um, there was an Arab man behind the, the counter, and I told him what I wanted. This place advertises the fucking lowest tobacco prices in town, like they all do. Yeah. Because they all do. Yep. That's Indiana for you. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm already late for work. Like, today I was late for I didn't have a very good day today. So I was like, just please sell me what I want. And he's like, he mumbles something to me, facing the opposite direction of me and mumbling it. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Speak it, motherfucker. Speak it. Let me hear you. Yes. Look, eye contact. Talk, please. <laughs> and he's he's like bending down, like mumbling. And he turns around and I was like, man, I've told you twice. I could not fucking understand what you said. And he holds up two logs of chew and he goes, two for 32? And I felt bad because I was a dick to this man. Just trying to make some money. No, fella. No two for 32. And that's exactly how I said it. No, fella. <laughs> no two for 32. I wish you would have pat him on the head. Like, I'm man, sorry, he was like, man, he was like four feet above me because oh, he was God. standing on one of those oh. fucking pedestals on the raised oh, countertop. Oh, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Know? I got gotcha. you. But I was like, he sold me my tobacco, and I put my head in shame and walked out to my truck. <laughs> Damn. And now for the rest of my days, I will hear two for 32. <laughs> God damn. My children have to eat. What, they don't like falafel? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Ooh, that's spicy. What's mm. that from? That's Batman a- Begins? Yeah. Yes! Mm. Yes, I could not remember. Damn. I was like, what movie is that? Uh, or you can go to Dark Knight, Hong Kong of Hong Kong. Mm. Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he says, what's wrong with Hong Kong? <laughs> Hong Kong of Hong Kong. <laughs> Come on, Morgan. <laughs> 
are we ever gonna get fucking live action Batman Begins? Like, let's just let's just go around. You mean the room. Beyond? Yes or yeah, you know what I meant. Yes or no? Yeah. Nate, we need it. Give me a second. I gotta I gotta think about this. All right, Matt. Yeah or nay? Not for a long time. Okay, Brandon. No, we're not gonna get it. Okay. I have an answer. Okay. If we were to get it, it will not be through a movie. It will be through a series. Okay. Let me add to that. Will we get a 2019 rendition of animated Batman Beyond? Ooh, I'd like that. They haven't said that, but it is something that would be lucrative for them for sure. They could possibly do a new feature film because they do a lot of that kind of cool stuff. And they are they just announced the Blu-ray complete remastered. Mask of the Phantasm? Well, of no. Batman Beyond series. And the movie Return of the Joker, oh, and a box one. set for like yeah. I didn't bucks. see that. I saw the mask and the Amazon. phantasm, and it one, comes but I didn't with see a little that. Batman Beyond chromy pop. Fuck yeah! What if? Yeah, 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 yeah. What if they did Batman Beyonder, and it's like Beyonder. it's like twenty years beyond Batman Beyond, <laughs> and Terry McGinnis is the old man, and <laughs> he'd be forty. <laughs> you just beast Tyler out. He's gone. He just said, "I'm out." So he'd Done. still be in kind of shape. And can do these no. things. <laughs> no. It's okay, so here's the thing. He'd be, he'd be more help. Did you ever watch the epilogue? No, I, I, okay. I didn't even finish the series because I was so a Justice kid. Justice League Unlimited had the epilogue, which was just a Batman Beyond episode set 10 years or so after mm -hmm. the series. And it's like Terry, he's like 30 or 28 or whatever. He's going to get married to his honey. She knows his secret. Bruce is even older. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> even shit. more decrepit. Bruce is like Clint Eastwood in, in fucking Gran Torino. <laughs> exactly. He's like, I made you soup. It's cold now. <laughs> man, I love old man Bruce. I do too. Man, it's fucking great. I liked him so much better as like that Bruce than like Dark Knight Returns Bruce. Because like he's, he's got character. Mm -hmm. He's got some like serious like crotchety character. Well, you, I, I think. Kind of what made me fall in love with Batman Beyond is, you know, it's fucking Batman in the future, which is cool mm -hmm. enough. The fucking suit is one of the coolest bat suits ever. Yeah. Like, ever. Yeah. If not the coolest. Well, they, kind of, they also kind of do this cool little, like, mashup of, like, Batman and Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it tells, like, a, a you know, the Batman story in a new, different way. Mm -hmm. But also, to add what you said about the Dark Knight Returns characterization, read the book. It, he gets way, he, he narrates himself, so he gets a lot more characterization. <clears throat> one of my favorite spots in the book is something that isn't said in the animated version. It's uh, like he has the tank, <laughs> his, his Batmobile tank, mm -hmm. and he's like, boom. That's the first part, right? <laughs> it, it, when he's going against the new mutants. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it, and it's like, Plow! he goes, and you're like, holy shit! And he's like, rubber bullets, honest. He breaks the fourth wall and tells you, yeah. Like that's just the line, rubber bullets, honest. Wow. <laughs> I love it. But, he is such an old fuck. It doesn't give a shit anymore. But but I, I I loved Batman Beyond because like Mask of the Phantasm is so fucking underappreciated. I love that. Just movie. overall, Absolutely. like, could you imagine a live action adaptation of mm -hmm. the Phantasm that is as good as it was animated? Like it it would be a fucking Oscar winner. It would be it would totally bankroll everything that DC wanted to do for the rest of fucking Warner Brothers and DC ever. You know. But you get to see a little bit of what he experienced in that movie come out as Old Man Bruce. Because mm. he got burned real hard in that movie. Yeah. You know, and you don't really get to see that in the animated series. It's always, I'm Bruce Wayne, and I'm the knight. I have to carry on. I've mm -hmm. got to do this. I've got a mission. It's but, when he's old and he can sit down and take mm -hmm. a minute and let, and let all that kind of, <clears throat> like, all that darkness, mm -hmm. you know, like, just kind of rest on those shoulders. He's such an interesting character. The Return of the Joker is probably, I think, one of the most underrated Batman films in general. I, I agree. And I, I dug I it, too. by far, it's got the darkest scene. The unedited version, yes. It's got the darkest scene in any kind of, I guess, animated adaptation or even... That's when Tim Drake yeah, murders. Tim murders Spoilers. Joker. Murders, shoots him. <laughs> boom! Nice. And you're, and you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, well... Well, your superhero days are done. Pal. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, He's not good no more. I loved it too because it, it really shows you what the Joker, uh, like the, the really like the really strong points of that character. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's not so matter about like, you know, oh, all the things that he does. It's how he does it. Mm -hmm. It's that it, it, he never just pull comes out and pulls a gun right to Batman's face. Is like I'm gonna shoot you. He's like, no, he's gonna fuck your world up. Mm -hmm. 
for years to come. He's he's always gonna hit you where it fucking hurts mm-hmm. the most. Speaking of always. Joker, what do we think about the Walking Phoenix? Boo! Hard boo! Yeah, I, I knew that was gonna be <laughs> hard boo. It. In in the uh, um, so listen, where you're where you're right here. I'm no, no, like, no, I'm not done. I I was gonna do a whole spiel. <laughs> I'm right here. Like Walking Phoenix ah! in the Gladiator. Here I am. <sighs> <laughs> I'm like right here because I, I it'll be interesting. No, it won't. I actually think it's I think it looks pretty cool. It's a, it's a different take. Yeah, it's it's an artsy so, take. It looks, uh, but it, it's not it's not a Joker movie. No, you're right. Like, <laughs> don't call it Joker if it's not the Joker. Yeah. The end. That's like literally. I'm not gonna argue. Hey, I'm and, gonna make a Joaquin, movie. Joaquin Phoenix looks awful. What did they do to that man? <laughs> he was the emperor of Rome. It really reminds me of a lot <laughs> of what they pulled into like. <laughs> With like under the red hood, uh, not like the the red hoods, but like the earlier red hood stuff, and then of course that they incorporated into Batman Origins or Arkham Origins. Mm-hmm. It reminds me a lot of that. I am actually one of, like like him. I'm actually excited to see what they do because I will give anything a chance. I'm not going to crap on something just because there's some things I don't like in it. The fact that he is this weird white dude wearing fucking whitey like, tidies. Whitey tidies. You know that gets you going, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, <laughs> he's got the balls You're to merit here, it. folks. Brandon is wound up. I am a little wound up. Are Him and his Hanes? fucking cleft lip. I'm here, like, here's the question though: Are they Hanes or Fruit of the Loom? Because that is relevant. Mm. It is. It's all about Fruit of the Loom life. You know, I, you know, I saw the trailer in IMAX and I didn't even notice. <laughs> it. <laughs> but no, like, I'm interested. I want to see it because. I want to see this character a little bit more humanized before he completely fucking loses it. I, I definitely want to see it too. I just don't want to. It's tough because the the last rendition of the Joker that we had was Jared Leto, and a lot of us, Blaine, myself, were excited for Jared Leto. You know, we we went into it with high expectations, at least the way that you and I talked about it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. We, we had high expectations because <clears throat> I'm a fan of Jared Leto as an artist in in, in any rendition. So, See, but we met each other after the movie was right, out. Right, but we, we we talked about we it, talked about you know? our, yeah our expectations going in. Okay. Um, and I'm still under the the belief that the Joker that we saw in Suicide Squad was not actually the Joker. He was a copycat. It's Jason I, Todd. Yeah, yes, that's what I'm saying. It's Jason thinking. Todd. Totally. That's what I would it, love. It, it makes sense. Um, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't dislike... It'd be such a cool twist on things. See, mm-hmm. I, heard a, I heard a rumor that they were going to do the Return of the Joker universe and it was going to be Tim Drake because it was a spear mm-hmm. in the case that uh, Ben Affleck's character looks at. It says, mm-hmm. ha-ha, joke's on you. And Tim Drake is the one that uses like the spear yeah. weapon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think would be... So, like, everybody would expect it to be Jason Todd yeah. and mm-hmm. Tim Drake. That'd be nope. different, yeah. I, I think that'd and be also, really I mean, cool. Either way, it'd be a super cool twist on and things. Also, Too bad none of it matters now. Also a, right, but, like, also a cool, like, callback to that Return of the Joker movie, like you mentioned, because that's what happens to Tim Drake in that movie. He goes fucking nuts, and he's got this big smile on his face. He goes through years of therapy to become, like, a satellite uh, foreman or whatever. He's working on some, like, I am just an old dude that works a day-in, day-out job, and all of a sudden, here's... Here, you go, here comes Terry McGinnis. Hey, you remember being Robin? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, I think I think that would be really cool. You know, I didn't I didn't hate Jared Leto as the Joker. It just it didn't. You know that movie movie overall just didn't hit enough people in the right places. You know, I'm I'm one of the folks that enjoyed it, especially the the extended cut that you it's know better should have been like it the is theatrical better. release. <laughs> um. But I, I don't know. I just the the Joker is one of the the most sacred characters in all of fiction. Absolutely. Ever. Like you just don't fuck with the Joker, and you know all all the people out there that love um, the Dark Knight's Joker with uh, Heath Ledger. You know there there are a lot of the people that like. As soon as they see something that's not Heath Ledger, they light their fucking torches and grab their pitchforks, you know? Mm, I don't I, think he's the, he's for me at least the pinnacle. It, it's it's a combination of Nicholson, Romero, oh, yeah. and, and Ledger, obviously, but then even still. Well, what about Jim Carrey? I mean, the, fucking Jim Carrey played the Joker more than he played the Riddler. No, Agreed. You, you mean Agreed. Mark Hamill? No. No, 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 no. I'm talking Jim Carrey. We're talking in about the, the folly movies. of Batman Forever. Okay. Yeah. And you have. You're one of the best actors in the fucking world. Okay. Okay. You have Tommy Lee Jones. Yep. Playing Two Face, and 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 here's here's Joel Schumacher going. 
what if Two Face were more like the Joker? Okay. And then here's Tommy Lee Jones as Two Face going. <laughs> And then, and then yeah. there's the Riddler. <laughs> you know, this fucking mental motherfucker. He's sadistic. Yeah. He fucks with you. Yeah. And all he's doing is parading around, throwing grenades, mm -hmm. laughing. Yeah. And, and it's those, what both the of those were more like the Joker. Both really of those characters like played that. the Joker. They did not play Two Face. There was only two instances where, where Harvey Dent is Harvey Dent. Mm -hmm. The very beginning monologue. Yep. And at the very end, when he actually speaks with Bruce, when mm -hmm. he knows that he's Bruce. And it's right before he dies. The rest of it is like two Jokers versus Batman and Robin. Mm -hmm. Weird. No, it, it, I never thought it about ruins that, that movie for me. Because yeah. I love, I used to love the movie. I saw it in theaters. And I'm just like. I did so, too. That's it, a boner I killer. Batman forever. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, oh no. Now Batman and Robin's <laughs> oh, better. Oh no. Because <laughs> it's got I actually, I actually loved all those movies, you know, because they're so nostalgic for me because mm -hmm. I was a kid. You know, and that's when Batman was super cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean. The Joker, in my mind, and I've said it many times on this show, I've said it on JIC, it's fucking Mark Hamill. Yeah. If you want to really wig some people out, let that man put the fucking makeup on. Please! Just do it. At this point, I think age is his enemy to play... Why, though? Because... Play an old Joker against an old Batman? Uh, yeah, but... Dude... <laughs> I just immediately thought of like ninety five year old Joker and ninety five year old Batman with, with walkers that try to chase each They're other. They're playing chicken. <laughs> Joker's got the clown horn. Tomorrow I'm gonna take another step and you're gonna give up, Joker. Mm -hmm. Fucking throw this but, battering. You'd be so dead right now. <laughs> They're only three inches from each other. Yeah, no, you'd point. be so knocked out right now. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> Batman still trying to not kill him. He's like, you we're both a hundred bats. <laughs> Something's got to give. Oh, Joker, you'd but, be so concussed right now. <laughs> but I've seen that a lot on the internet. Like, people crying for, um, oh, my God, my brain just stopped. Old Batman using original Batman. Keaton. Michael Keaton. Michael yeah. Keaton. And, uh, you know, I love that. We but all him, do. But give him, give him an old Joker. Give him fucking the, Mark Hamill. Uh, I mean, I mean, at that point, you know what? As much as I agree with you, it would be an insult to not then look at Nicholson and yeah. see his reuniting the. 89. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, uh, dis I don't disagree there did either. Did you know that? Okay, so I found this out more recently. That the third Tim Burton Batman movie was going to be called Batman Continues. Potentially. Mm -mm. Okay. And he pitched it, right? Terrible name. Yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Batman <laughs> Soldiers On! That doesn't sound... Cool. That sounds way better, honestly. <laughs> Next time on Dragon Ball Batman. <laughs> it sounds so bad still, yeah. but much better than Continues On. <laughs> so Burton was pitching. He's like, all right, so we're going to bring Catwoman back, right? Okay. Because, uh, in fact, one of the original pitches was that instead of Max Shrek, it was going to be Harvey Dent. And she was going to be kissing Harvey Dent, which would cause him... To, but that got changed. Max Shrek happens. Robin was also supposed to be in Batman Returns. Okay. In fact, they hired Marlon Wayans to play Robin. He got a paycheck for it. Okay. And they cut him out because of too many characters. They were going to bring him back. He had his whole idea. They were, they were going to do Scarecrow. They were going to do Two-Face. Catwoman was going to be thrown in there. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and it's going to be this big schmoz. And then uh, halfway through the meeting, they're just like, you know, you don't have to make Batman. And he stops, and he's like, you don't want me to make a third one, do you? And they're like, no, 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 that's not it. No, you guys don't want me to make a third one. Fuck you, I ain't making a third one then. I'm making James and the Giant Peach. God, it was good, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. But, like, then we had Joel okay. Schumacher and that whole thing. Wait but... a minute. <clears throat> I, are you over there insulting James and the Giant no, Peach? No, no. Because if you are, you and I are about to have words, sir. I love Do you team. quarrel? I, I will bite my thumb at thee. You don't need to bite your thumb. I love James and the Giant you Peach. You better not quarrel, sir. Creepy. It is creepy. Fuck I love yeah. it. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, it's creepy. It's super cool. The motherfucker's in a giant flying peach. The end. With bugs. And they fight sh dead sharks at one point. Pirates. And sharks so are cool. so important. Yes. Right shark back. Week. Hey, Fucking shark, shark week. week. I have at this point. Oh shit! While well, while you guys are monologuing, I have I have some stuff to do on my phone. But I, at this point, I have sixty-seven Shark Week shows to watch. Holy so shit! Our, our, Rooster Teeth is doing one this week. I'm guessing that right Teeth. now he's going no, and Shark making Week, sure but his, on, it's uh, on Discovery Channel. I know. Oh, <laughs> he's going through right now and making sure he's got everything ready to record. That's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Of course you are. Makes sense. I found this cool little tidbit. Okay. About Arnold Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Uh, you ready for this one? <laughs> so Arnold. 
uh, wanted to dub his own voice for the German versions of the Terminator movies. But the studio wouldn't let him. His accent is considered very rural by German standards, and it wouldn't make sense to have a death machine from the future come back in time to sound like a hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. <"Nyah." laughs> And so now his <laughs> voice is considered very rural. <laughs> so wow. now Arnold's like, or, "Hey man, how you doing? Come with me if you want to live." <laughs> like, come with me if you want to live. And the German people are like, "Fucking hick ass motherfucker! <laughs> How's he big over there?" <laughs> sure. Germans don't really like Austrians. No, no, that's why they did invaded. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh my god! Yeah, you're very accurate. Now we're in a history lesson. I love it. Did you say German invaded Austria? Dude, America? so... Austria. They, had, they were allies. No. You mean Belgium? Eventually. <laughs> no, they were part of the same family. Coat of arms? Of, like, the Prussian families were part of the Austrian-Hungary. That's what happened Russian, Prussians, and Austrians? World War I or World War II? I don't know. He's talking about World War II. I'm just... Okay. I'm just about <laughs> that shit. Nah. <laughs> my version of Arnold... Nah. <laughs> my version of Arnold, I don't know, like, me and this one dude at work, oh, we just started, like, he, we made him dumber and dumber. Even though he's a very smart man. He is he's a, a very, very smart, smart man, man. He, and he became a millionaire ever, before he ever became a movie star. He's a bodybuilder. He's, well, I mean, he's also big into real estate. I hear that too, yeah. He, yeah. He, made, he made his fortune in real estate, and he's a very smart dude. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the definition of the American dream. Yes. Like, really is. Everything they told this man, like Bill Burr, his, his like, whole thing about Arnold Schwarzenegger says it best. Like, this is a man that... His entire life, they were told, he was told he couldn't do something, and he's like, "Well, oh, fuck you, I'm going to do it anyway. And so that's why they're like, well, why didn't he think that he could bang some girl in his bed after with his wife around? He's been winning for four decades. <laughs> okay. He was winning so much, he got tired of winning. He was, I get it? Uh -huh. <laughs> like someone else we knows. <laughs> like, I, I had, like extra consonants and take take them away <laughs> just to make him sound even more for even though he's very well spoken yeah 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 uh, now and like in english as much you know he, he's he, it's funny because you hear like him talking about like for the original terminator like he's like he couldn't say i'll be back he was like nah, there's nah, like 20 nah, takes nah, of it and that's the one they and chose he was like well would the machine say i will be back and he's like no you say i'll be back there's no I uh, in Austria. I, uh, I. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I, I saw. I saw an interview with him. He's like, I did like 20 takes of that, yeah. and they just chose the best one. And I've never been able to replicate it. And now Chris Pratt's married to his daughter. Oh yeah, <laughs> just thumping her with all that Star Lord goodness. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> you didn't they bang to the Guardians of the Galaxy music? I'm so fucking. The really? awesome mixes. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, I would too. I hope she calls him Andy Dwyer. That's mm. weird. Mouse rat. Because Andy Dwyer did not have Star Lord's body. Just being real. Hey. Right. Someone, someone said. I someone love, said I that Andy Dwyer had a better body. I loved when he also came fair. back from the Guardians of the Galaxy shoot to Parks and Rec, and they're like, "Dude, you lost so much weight. What'd you do?" He's like, "I just stopped drinking beer." <laughs> the end. That's it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we all got quiet for a moment. Uh, I'm trying to let Dick lead the show because yeah. it's his show. So yeah, this is episode 100, and it would be completely. Remiss if we didn't reminisce. Oh, it's like what we used to do for like thirty straight. Yeah, hell yeah, we're the kings of reminisce. Dude, yeah. seriously, we, episode eighty-two. That, I can't believe we. Oh no, it was it was around the like the one twenties. You guys started. It was a great way to kill like twenty to thirty minutes. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, we, we don't have much to talk about. This I can't week. believe Let's just we talk made about it. Old times. <laughs> Anyways, I can't believe we made it to one hundred. I mean, Brando, you were my first guest. First, you're the first and second and second. <laughs> I can't remember who the third was. You were Nick, my first Max, and my second. Oh, yeah, because yeah. we did. We, we did the. Uh, well, no. The, 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 so that was part of the second episode, but I'm talking like third guest. He was so, on. Well, yeah, the third yeah. episode was called The Year of Yeast. Yeah. Yes, that's right. So, You're right. So I think he was and on. And we got Pod Daddy over here with Sarah and Veronica on Fruits, Fruits of, War. of War, episode four. <laughs> uh, we had uh, episode five. You were there for that, weren't you? Because you come up for the show with no, him? I, no? Yeah. No, he, he left in the morning. I left in the morning. That's right. And you guys right. went out to eat and yep. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Man, times. Crazy, <laughs> right? And then episode New five, Roman. we had, I think that was Wolves with Dances, correct? Yes, Wolves with Dances. That has the, the following podcast <laughs> does not reflect the views of the Journey in the Comics Network. And that featured 
beloved friend and guest of the show, Rolo is Richard the, Olovich. Is that the only one that I had to edit? Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> he just started spouting off uh, addresses and numbers for our workplace and our yep, boss. I remember. And like, he, I I talked to him later on. And he was like, "Yeah, I didn't say any real numbers." He's like, "Everybody's like, no, it doesn't matter." <laughs> yeah, like, just to be, you know. We, I we, loved listening to that playback, though. We do it. this, you know, outside of that, right? It's outside the realm down. of our work. Yeah, totally. Nothing that we say or do here has any reflection. However, on the off chance that some crazy motherfucker out there is going to take what information was given, even if it was false. And find, try to use it against it, y'all. Well, and then try to actually, like, like I, 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 I thought about it, and I'm like, mm, you know what? I'm not taking that chance. You know, at that time... Yeah, we were the co EVPs. I think that's what we called ourselves. Yeah. And so I'm like, I gotta take responsibility. I'm I'm making a, I'm calling an audible and I gotta bleep it. And I didn't want to, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. You know? And that's the only episode of this show that has been bleeped. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do, brother. I love listening to the You gotta do what you gotta do, you know. What I'm saying? Right. Thank you. Yeah, and right. then whoop. Just, man, it's that, actually funnier with the bleeps. It is. It really is. You know, that guy was so funny, and it, I, I would, I would be, I feel so terrible if I didn't like, you know, bring him up on episode 100 because he was such, he was such a big part of like bringing the show up. You should play Lesbian Seagull. Oh, I agree, man. I'll, I'll pop I fucking it up. love that song, and it was Keep hilarious. Keep reminiscing as you pull up Le- <sighs> Lesbian Seagull. I just burped in your mic. I'm so sorry. You may want to edit that out. I don't know. You're not even drinking. No. Do we even do a toast? No, but I think that's coming. Yeah, that's coming. Okay. You better hurry up because I'm about out of beer. I know, same here. It's good, isn't it? I, you know what? When I had it last week, I wasn't impressed. Now that I've had this much of it, I think I'm okay. It's pretty good. I like it. <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> AKA a little toasty. Uh, not quite there, but I'm happy. I feel you. I feel you. Where's your fucking iPod shuffle? Man. It's upstairs, I think. God damn He was hitting on that thing when I got here. I was going to say, let me rip that little rascal. Dude, I was like... Oh, what is that? It's like a little CBD thing. Oh, I was ripping on my CBD thing, and it was funny because like I loaded it up and I and I need a new coil, and I took a hit and I'm like, <laughs> that's burnt as fuck. Oh, burnt popcorn taste, dude. And I'm just like, I put all that shit in there. All right, so I got open a can of Phoenix Tears. I played this. I I, I drank this uh, the last time when we talked about Rolo and his passing. And uh, I figured it'd be fitting to, you know, not only drink this in celebration of episode 100, but to drink it in memory of Rolo. So I hope you guys don't mind germs, because I don't have another glass. I don't have several glasses, so. Oh, are we all about to sip from the same? Do you want me to pour another glass? No. I I just, I mean, we all have our own beverages. I just want a little of that. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll, I'll sip in. You first, dildo. To Rolo. Tirolo. May he ever ye. <laughs> that fucking idiot. <laughs> One thing I really appreciate about this song and Rolo is the fact that he was... He, it was the ballsiest thing on a live stream during a podcast to just grab a fucking guitar and, and just do start this. fucking riffing. There's no, I I don't have the balls to do that, and I'm a musician. Like that's for real. I respected the hell out of that dude. So this one's for you, man. Mmm, that's got a nice taste. Damn near a year old too. <laughs> Damn, matured. Mmm. That's my favorite verse also, Rolo. (laughs) 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 Which one, Rolo? Which one? Now we know which one. Wicked. Yeah. 
I remember fucking watching that live. Same. Because I hadn't been on the show yet. <clears throat> yeah, and then, let's see, Matt was the next guest. Yeah, you were episode, I think, six. Six? No, 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 that was Callers. Yeah, because I was with Nick again. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so you were episode seven was house seven. catastrophe. House catastrophe. I think he was eight. Uh, he's not that fast. Yeah, he's just not that fast. <laughs> he's not that fast. I miss that series, man. I miss those those videos. Tell my brown friend to move back. Yeah, you're right. I'm trying. Am I right about that? It's like yeah. seven or eight. Good, good, cool. Right eight. On. It was eight. Dale Jr. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Seven was. <laughs> seven was the outside. No, House Castrophe, dude. House, house Cast- is bitching. This house is bitching. Yeah, yes, that's, that's right. That's what I meant to say. The, the, okay, the, the podcasting day, which yeah. we still haven't done again. Well, well I, you know, I last time I tried to plan that during your shutdown, you went yeah. on fucking vacation the whole time. Yeah, Nick wasn't too happy about me going on vacation either. <laughs> but we're going to get something together soon. Yeah. I have some plans. We're, we kind of want to do a little network retreat like in the early fall Was at some point. the outside outsider or something like that? The outside all-star? That that was the one with my buddy Josh McKinney. I think so. Yes. <laughs> R and D department, get on it. And then eleven was scottomized, but I can't remember ten for whatever reason. The temp we needed is ten. Oh, yep. Right here, debut. That's right. The temp we needed. My bad. I walked into that fucking house with Tell full it. intention to ruin my ability to podcast forever because I attacked. The medical industry and teachers right out of the gate <laughs> and no one said you can't do that and i've been here ever since <laughs> I'll be damned. I, the next I just time, keep coming back the next time you was on was uh a band from wisconsin with mm-hmm. rachel yep that was a good one yeah episode ah. 12 yep. yeah yeah it only took that was the one where after like after the show she was like the live stream was still going and she was like Oh, I need a fart so bad. <laughs> and I was like, hey, we're still alive. She's like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it only took one episode for you to be like, hey, man, you want to come back again? Yeah. Why, yeah. sure. Hey, do you want to co-host? I also yeah. think that it was very interesting how you recorded episode 11 because you sprung that on people, didn't you? It was like at a Cards Against Humanity party or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had, to, I, that. I had to. Uh, I had to trick. So I've been trying to get Austin Welch on the show, and I still need to get him officially on the show. He needs to sit here. Uh, he's he's gonna be moving back gaming? here soon, ish, um, just for a short while before he moves back to NYC. Um, but yeah, I, I had I kept trying to get him on the show and get him on the show and get him on the show, and he just he would either ghost me and not respond, or he would just yeah, it, it was just he just never came on. So finally, we had a a party over at Scott's, and I I brought my Zoom, huh? Talking about Kristen, how she rips paper when she parts pretty Probably, yeah. Because Austin, like, could not. Like, yeah, that's right. Breathe. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I had. I brought my Zoom, and while we played Cards Against machine. Humanity. I remember you made the sound effect. Sounds like she's fucking ripping paper every time. Bro. Oh, damn. Oh. I love you, woman. This is it, Rocky! <laughs> Not to take control of your show for a second, but we had, we do have some comments if oh. you want to What the hell? Jump all, to that. All I know, all I see is AJ, Robert Worthington and Jennifer. Yeah. Which I'm I'm glad Jennifer's watching. She hasn't watched for a while. Jennifer, I miss you. She lost interest in your she show. She says if Tyler Probably. was sitting dead center She's... in this video, I would think that's him in the back with out sunglasses and a hat on. <laughs> so, so true. Uh, Jennifer's like, I'm so glad you and Mike are going to be on. Maybe his show will actually be interesting for once for a while. <laughs> I'm like, God, she was brutal, man. Uh, Jennifer, <laughs> we were friends once. Feels bad, man. Hers my feelings. She, she's Thank like, you. yeah, it just, I don't know. It's not so much of a uh, uh, astrophy anymore. It's more, more like a atrophy. Okay, no, I, wow. I actually, oh. I made that up. She didn't say that. I, I thought that was a cool play. Ugly out. double churn. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the show, guys. I do also, this on purpose out of disgust. Has anybody mentioned oh, to you that your square edge is falling off the ceiling? Yeah, the square edge is falling off the ceiling because that that can of bullshit over there does not do adhere very bullshit well. To, hey, bro. To adhere square go edge. real uh, glue, dog. Uh, yeah. 
I have Gorilla. Yeah, but that tape was now. like forty-five dollars spray adhesive. Oh my god! Uh, that was twelve dollars. Okay, that oh, was twelve dollars spray adhesive. I actually adhesive. would not have been surprised if it was forty-five dollars. Uh, no, me because neither. Because of who yes. purchased it? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. He he has a complete inability to save money <laughs> ever on anything. Like there was a time when Sale. I worked. At, no there, sir. There was a no. Time. I mean full price <laughs> yeah. plus. I'll pay extra. I'm importing it for ten. Yo, Kazakhstan. Fuck that shit. There was a time <laughs> like when I worked at Subaru, I would try and give Blaine oh. financial advice, and like he pretended to listen for so long, <laughs> and like I got I got to give my man props because I was like, okay, you know, like Blaine is becoming like a really good friend. He's told me how he has a spending problem. He, he's told me how much debt he's in. And I'm like, okay, you know, whether he wants it or not, I'm, I'm going to tell my man some ways to, to dig himself out. And after, after like three months of it, I realized that you had not been paying attention the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Which kind of hurt at first because, like, all you had to say was, hey, man, I'm, I'm good. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And at first I got, like, a little bit mad because I was like, this motherfucker! This whole time! He wasted breaths. I told him the way. I showed him the way, brother. I showed him the way. <laughs> and then and then I was like, you know what? If if my man wants to live in squalor, because he can't stop spending a dollar. <laughs> Get it, brother. Sounds like an Alan Jackson song. <laughs> 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 brother. <laughs> brother. You do you, man. If you want to fucking spend yourself into oblivion, fucking spend it. I've been doing good. You know you how bought they oblivion again on PC. You know how they say send Ooh, it? I can't fucking play it. Spend it. Why? Because I refused to use a keyboard. <laughs> okay. It, it it was free. It was free when I got it. You can't hook up like an Xbox One I controller. Tried. It doesn't uh, have controller support. No, it doesn't. What? Have support. No. In Lame. fact, some of the uh, some why of the you, support. Why, why refuse to use a keyboard? W A S D, my man. I don't like Did you see that piece of shit he has there. It takes practice. It's a good keyboard. It, he paid seven hundred dollars for that keyboard. No. <laughs> <laughs> that mini. You're fridge? such a trooper. You need to get yourself a keyboard that clackety clacks, clackety clacks like Commander keyboard. That fucking that mini Here's fridge. Here's the Andy. That mini fridge he bought off OG OJ Simpson. Nineteen ninety five. Close. That's in dollars. HH Greg. In the in the back of the fucking Bronco is like, dude, I got something here. There's a little bit of blood stain on the very bottom of There's it. There's a hand in the back of it. <laughs> it's, it's in the Blaine freezer section. Blaine only the Best Buy where they charge full price for everything. That was H.H. Craig. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood the, like the two H's without periods. What the fuck are you there for? <laughs> Greg, where'd you buy that TV? Oh, Greg. I got rid of my can. <laughs> That's why they went out of business. Can you hit me with a pep? Nate, like, why can you, do you hit me with a pep? Why do you say the letters H-H and not just spell the rest of it? It's all what, one word. What if you're like an oil tycoon? Um, pour up there. Doesn't matter. Well, because well, then you'd have your own, like, like Thanks, nighttime uh, soap opera, like in the 80s. Who shot J.R.? Mm. J.R. Ewing. Mm. When, they, when they tried to bring that show back... Uh, a couple years ago. Six like, or seven yeah. years ago. I started to watch it. It was Dallas. I started to watch it, and I was like, wow, people watch this shit. And it couldn't have been better than it is now. And I quit watching it. Because I don't do soaps. And Dallas is a soap. It is a soap. It's a soap. (laughs) But it's a nighttime soap. I used to watch Days of Our Lives with my dad. (sighs) This is a great opportunity for me to go piss. You know what? Well, be careful, because it's flooded in there. Should I go upstairs? Mm. No, because cats might come down. Yeah. All right, so it's not that bad. When I was, that. you know, growing I up on the farm in the someone summers, didn't die unless he turned it off. Nope, it's on. You know, cool. my grandpa, and my uncle would come in from the farm, and they would eat lunch at noon and watch Bold and Beautiful with my grandma. Fuck yeah! And there is there is one chick in that show. She is the biggest fucking whore huh. that's ever whored. Fucking Not only did she move in and start banging this old white-haired motherfucker. That's fucking American who is, dream. Who is this fashion tycoon? Yeah. Like, she married him, took Preach the it. business, and then started banging his son. Preach it. And then married him. Mm. And then got with the other brother. Hook me up with one of them jobs. Not only did she get with his real brother, she got with his half-brother. Fuck yeah, I'll fuck them all. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then her son, with the first... With, 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 with daddy. <laughs> with daddy. 
We lost Jennifer. Yeah. Aww. Aww. She's not watching anymore. Jennifer! Uh, all right, so the son with the first daddy, he got married to with this woman. With the first daddy? <laughs> with, with the dad dad. Oh, man. You know, fashion daddy. Yeah, fa dad. fashion daddy. <laughs> so she had a son with him, and then he got married to this one girl who then started dating this other guy. And that whore, just to fuck her over, got with her guy. Yeah. I'm like, her legs do not. I'm telling no, you, No, they don't that, shut. That's a fuck American dream. <laughs> What's it say on this shirt? America! It's my fucking heritage. Heritage. <sighs> the thing is, the moral of the story is, there are, there are no limits or caps to the amount of success that you can have. And if you if you're at that level of of success, you can fucking marry whoever the fuck you want. Yeah, well, you should be able to marry whoever you want anyway. And and and, and I agree. Whether that's the daddy, the son, the other son, the both half of son, them. both of them, both all of them. <laughs> What's funny is that is that they recasted one of the sons. Eventually, he was on the show for like 20 years, and he's like, "I'm done with the shit. <laughs> I'm retiring. I'm gonna go play in my blues band." And then. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like, okay, oh. well, because here I'm thinking, you know, I don't even watch this shit, but I'm thinking, oh, okay, he was like, like, like him and her, they were like a constant thing, you know, you know are they on, are they off? Dude, how do you not watch this shit? You know so much about it, though. Grand Grandpa and this uncle, is, man. This is multiple seasons. Now, here's the thing. Okay, so the, there aren't seasons. <laughs> It's every fucking day. It just That's never just the stops. Thing. It never man. fucking it never stops. stops. You know, and it was like uh, about seven years ago, uh, like one summer, uh, I was off of, off of work and I saw it. I'm like, holy shit, I remember this shit. She's still a whore. And then I'm just like, I'm Wikipedia in this shit. I'm, I'm going to look stuff up. I, I pulled a Blaine. And then I just like, I, I went down a spiral. What? And I read the whole damn we're, history. We're I'm like, get to it. What? Something much more important just came up. Well, it's not more important. It's just important. Brandon's in his diatribe right dire now. Dire news. Let Jennifer Nate come back. Let Nate come back. Yeah. Okay, so Let here's Nate the thing. Let Nate come back. Yeah, you're right. So, you're right. So, no. so to wrap it up, they recasted the longtime dude. No. And I'm just like, <laughs> dude, if you're on the show for 20 years and you leave, you should be, like, you know how they always die and come back? Right. You should stay dead at that point. <laughs> There's a, there are characters who don't have that longevity who Esteban, die. Esteban, you are dead. I know. He's like, no, I just got in a car wreck, lost half of my vision, and, I, and now I'm peddling guitars on late night television. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Esteban. I found the fountain of youth. It was at a Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking soaps. <laughs> Fucking soaps, man. Fuck Chipotle. It's awful, and it kills people. Botulism. I love Chipotle. It's awful. They don't wash their hands. They shit. And it's all over their hands. And then they make your food. I watched no. I watched <laughs> no, I don't make food. <laughs> I don't make food. <laughs> I do shit, though. Uh, Nate, get back here. Important news. I'm kind angry. Yeah. Do, 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 Did you do, do, die? Do, do, do. Late breaking news. Oh, I just had to take five, guys. I'm so sorry. My brain needs are hurt. So, uh, Jennifer your comments. Ah! I'm just Back kidding. The mic. I'm just kidding. I like your brain. Jennifer comments. Did you guys tell Tyler about Tiffany hitting Matt Milliken up? Baby Whoa! girl, baby girl, panda. So apparently, okay. So I actually got misconstrued and mis He's finding out now misinformation <laughs> just about now. this. This is new because I thought she hit Joe up. Oh, but it turns out. It, but it turns <laughs> hey, out. It was, hey Joe. Well, it was even funnier. <laughs> you want to get another crack at this ass? <laughs> Come on, get you some. <laughs> Stop. Okay, so apparently she hit Matt up. Uh, Hold on. Okay, on, go ahead. On Hold what? On. I got flaming hot Cheetos and lube. <laughs> Dude, she did not hit me. Do you want some Oreos? Do you want some Oreos and lube? Because I got Oreo stuff. flavored lube. I'm pretty sure your last name is Wilcox, bro. Remember that day? Okay, good. Remember that day you and I walked up to her and she was shoveling flaming hot Cheetos into her mouth as fast. I think you were with you were with us too, as fast as she could. Like I, I have to demonstrate for the people watching. Ghost hunting, man. <laughs> Like, like, not only could I hear the wind resistance of her hand, but, like, she was making sounds, too. <laughs> like, like, shoveling was... flaming hot Cheetos in her mouth. And she doesn't have a lot of stamina, so she about uh, asthma, asthma attack. attack yeah. She looked up at us with, with Cheetos hanging out of her mouth and went, You want them? <laughs> <laughs> and she... there, there could have 
have only been two fucking Cheetos left in that bag. She once told me, she she once asked me, she had a, she's like, you want some, you want some Oreos? I was standing there. And she, she had this clear plastic baggie of crushed up Oreos. They, were, they looked like she fucking sat Smashed on them. them. Yeah. And just like, God, I hate her. <laughs> All right, so she hit Matt up. Oh, God. On POF. No fucking way. <laughs> Plenty of fish. Yeah. All right. Matt Milliken. Yeah. Okay. So, and when I heard the story, I Joe was telling it, and I, me and Calvin thought that she hit Joe up. How did Joe, fu- did Matt tell Joe? Matt, I, okay, Matt told okay, Joe. okay. I, I heard some of it, but I didn't hear it. I thought maybe Joe still had his feelers out. No. No. He is actually <sighs> semi-sane right now. Okay. Yeah, he's he's very. Uh... Is he is he banging Nate's sister or is no. that not a thing? Whoa. It's not a thing anymore. Not banging my no. sister. Not no. your sister. You know what? He has made some smart decisions. He's is, he's made a vow of celibacy. We're gonna have to get to that because I, I want to hear more. Okay. So do you so want to hear more? Up, and, and then she goes, "Hey, didn't we used to work together?" That was her opening line. What and did Matt say? I don't know what anything because I haven't heard it, I haven't heard the story with. <clears throat> Uh, for, from Matt because okay. when Joe was telling it he made it for some right of a reason me and Calvin thought that she messaged Joe on POF so she had, and we thought her opening her opening line to Joe was do we used to work together <laughs> no and I'm like that's something you say to somebody you met out here like in passing not somebody that you fucked oh. and then took their seed <laughs> no <laughs> and they had no choice in the matter they were like no I don't want to blow on you and she goes you're gonna fucking blow on me right now. No. She what? Was, okay, so she was what? on top. This, this is all. This is all. This is all information from Joe. Okay, right, okay, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna add to you as you tell it. Man, okay. I'm learning some shit, shit they, today. They, they were doing some very, very <laughs> evil things. She's riding him like sea biscuit. She's spelling coconut with her hips. Oh, I got you, yeah. bro. Coconut. He's, no. oh, he's sucking on that dead ass toe. <laughs> See? Oh. oh yeah, he's licking. He's licking the dead. She toe. has a she, dead toe. What? She has a dead toe. No. Like no, she really licked the elephant. dead toe, though? She, no, we don't. We're just oh, she just had to be put outside because it made the animal sick. Yeah. <laughs> she, she told us that. She got kicked out of her parents' house because her feet stank so bad. The toe, <laughs> the toe made the fucking animal sick. <laughs> That's what killed 10 million bees. <laughs> She hasn't been allowed nor in, or near a fucking apple orchard in a decade. Oh my god! <laughs> so, she's riding him like sea biscuit, cowgirl style, not reverse, because Joe would have died. Why, why do I hear Muse Knights of Sidonia in my head? <laughs> do you're not wrong. Do-do-do-do. He's not wrong. Do-do-do-do. That was plain. You had to have been. Yeah, had to have been. It had to have been. It's definitely I mean, Knights of Sidonia. Or dream Theater. One yeah, of the yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> definitely or Dream Theater for We're sure. We're taking yeah, some yeah. liberties with the story, and it was definitely Knights of Sidonia. No, hey, it's not liberties. This is creative control. Mm-hmm. Creative control. Yes. This creative is what liberties. Really <laughs> creative. This liberties. is my reality. This is what happened. So he's she's riding him. She's riding him. And riding he's, him real good. And he's like, oh shit, oh shit. The it's time. time. I'm it's close. time. I'm getting close. Hey, I. You need to get off of me. What does she do? No. <laughs> well, the, what the I remember the like the way I when it was told to me, he was like she said no. And I was like, "Well, how did she do it?" She go, "No." <laughs> and she ha- Okay, no shit. I'm going to demonstrate. No. <laughs> no on blank. I'm fucking <laughs> terrified. Oh my god, this is great. No. <laughs> <laughs> this Oh shit! This nice girl catch. straight hold, held our man Joe down against his will and took it during climax. Got all the baby batter. Got all that meat juice. <laughs> meat all of that. Juice. All fucking, that baby gravy. All the baby gravy. All of that underpants Galactica. <laughs> what? All of them, young, swim lesson children. All of them. <laughs> All of them. Them toothless fucks. So, so, she, oh. did, how long ago did they do it? Uh, it's, uh, it's been a couple years. Ago. Couple oh, years so, at this so point. she didn't have a kid though. No, no, no. no, no, no. Uh, but there was a scare. There oh, was a scare. Oh, yeah. Shit. Shit. That was so, a big deal. So that I, was right. Okay, so that was right when I started at Subaru. So like week two, I started getting this, and I got the story like week two, and I was like. Oh, oh my god, shit. yeah, it's, it got Cause, real. Because at that time, I thought Blaine was a douche. Really, the only person I liked to talk to was, like, Brandon and Calvin. Because, like, the first couple of days that I worked there, I worked with Brandon almost specifically. 
And I was over on a completely different line. Mm-hmm. He was on B line a lot. Getting farmed out. Right? <laughs> I was getting farmed out. And it's like towards the end of like my first couple of days, Brandon's like, "So what do you like to do for fun?" And I was like, "Well, I like to play video games." And you know, of, of course, he immediately perked up and he's like, "Well, what video games do you like?" And the first one I said was Mass Effect. Oh, and you I, guys yeah, were brothers. I, I, mean, I mean, I dropped the mic right out of the gate. You know, did you? Did he get down on his knees, or did you, or how did that go? I think we both got down it, on our it knees. Was so awkward. it was a mutual meeting. Yes. Like we didn't really know. We didn't really know how to articulate it. Well, um, like, it's like we both got down and we both saw each other and went. Ah. <laughs> but then, like that following week, I started working with Blaine, and I also started working with Joe a lot. Like a lot, like oh. all day long, I was with Joe. That was also the week I started working with Tiffany. Mm-hmm. So he was with Tiffany. He was in a bad mood. Getting and, that side of the story. Yep, towards the end of the day, I was like working with Blaine, and he's like, okay, you got to do this. And I was like, I know. I how was to, training him. I know how to do it, Blaine. Or I didn't even say your name. I just like, I just, I know how to do it. And he's like, okay. And I was like, are you going to stand back and watch and check everything? And he's like, yeah. And he just did this the whole time. Yeah, I'm a very laid back trainer. If he says he knows what he's doing, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he didn't. He did not look at one thing that I did. And he'd uh, already been training for a while, so I'm like, mm-hmm. he probably knows what he's doing. And uh, like that was that was realistically my first experience of Blaine. And I was like, in my mind, I'm a very very judgmental person. So <laughs> if you don't if you don't make a, a good impression on me right out of the gate, it's gonna take me a while to warm up to you. And I, in my mind, I was like. This guy is a fucking douche canoe. <laughs> and then, you know, look at this fr- friendship that has blossomed out of it. Hell yeah. But Best man at my wedding. Turns out he was a douche kayak. I mean, he's still a douche. He's you know still, what? yeah, I wasn't wrong, but, yeah. you know. I, I, do wanna, I do need to say this really quick before I forget. This is the first time the four of us have been in the same room together. Sorry, Matt, I don't know. Were you at the wedding or not? I can't remember. You didn't get to go. Oh, yeah, no, it's just the wedding. It's yeah. the wedding, yeah. So that's, I just want to. That's why I called it the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Also, also yeah, man, man, man. <laughs> But, yeah, so, like, I was getting the, the Tiffany story from Joe and Calvin, and Blaine was getting it from Tiffany, which was weird. Like, Tiffany, the panda if you will, was, like, so infatuated with Joe. Do you have a picture of this person so I can visualize? Uh, Blaine might be able to pick, pull her up. Uh, I am blocked by her, so I can't. Oh, really? I might be, yeah, I might blocked, be blocked by her as well. I'm not even going to try. Okay. But, uh, like... R&D's on it. Like, sure. Blaine, Blaine and Brandon and I would be having, like, our little, like, in, be- in between break powwows, and, <laughs> like, she would walk up and just stand there and, like, not say anything. But she would, like... like have bounce. you seen the movie Trolls? Oh. Yeah. She's Bridget from she, Trolls. She's a Bergen. Oh, no. Straight she's up. Bridget, the Bergen. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, yo, you're going to see her and you're going to be like, wow. Oh, yeah. She is. <laughs> oh, no. No, I remember my. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I've told my first conversation with her on the show, haven't I? Yes. The the Blaine Street? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blaine Street. There's a Blaine Street in Rensselaer. Cool. This is literally the first conversation. Cool. Yeah, my sister lives over by there. That's that's really cool, Tiffany. <laughs> I I was I was making it very clear. I did not get. And this a is part shit. of the reason why I thought Blaine was a douche because in the beginning he wouldn't really talk to me. I don't talk to anybody. Mm-hmm. I, I'm a except, hard. Except me once we. Yeah, blossomed. once you broke down. Mm-hmm. Once I broke down with you, it's it's over. I'm gonna talk to you like all quarter, hopefully. Until you're tired of it. I need to go back it. in the story a second because I do remember something I want to say. I've never climaxed from a lady on top, and I've had some of the best sex that. You guys could probably ever talk about. So I, I have to be. I, if we're, if it's we're just talking, a for me. Yeah. If we're, if we're talking about, I, uh, it's very hard for me in that regard. If we're talking about lady on top climaxing, yeah. like that is the quickest way for me to climax. Really? In about two pumps. Honestly, <laughs> two pumps. Like not Honestly, only, yeah. like not only is that my favorite porn, like POV woman on top, okay. but like I have jacked off to so much POV on top porn that. Uh, if if I'm if I'm banging somebody on top, it's it's gonna be a quick night. Yeah, like I have conditioned Honestly, myself that way. I get there pretty quick. It's so fucking great. Like there's there's so many activities. But when I'm in control, I can go for fucking. What ever. in the fuck is that? That's the Bergen. <laughs> That's the panda, bro. So she tells me her Joe sister Matt. lives Joe here. Matt, so he knows. Her sister lives near Blaine Street. I'm like, that's cool. I don't. I really don't give a shit, and I don't want to talk to you. I've heard, I've heard so much about you, and I don't want anything to do with you. Yeah. So she keeps going. You've heard this story, haven't you? Yeah, it was on your first show, right? 
Well, we talked about it on my first entrance, yes. too. Yes, yes. But keep going, Blake. Yes, please my, do. No, she didn't it. say her sister. She said her nieces, nieces and nephews. My nieces and nephews live on Blaine Street. And then I was like, that's cool. She's like, I'd have more nieces and nephews if my sister hadn't had six abortions. Six abortions, what? bro. Six. What? <laughs> Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, six. Six Hitting me that. abortions. Hit me with that. No. And then she had God, the end of that waveform. And then Man. she <laughs> then she married a guy after a month, yeah, of, a month of knowing him. One month. Woo. And uh, we got the glorious story of uh, he apparently bought a couple lawnmowers and decided and we He was we, gonna race them. He was gonna he was oh, gonna yeah, do a lawnmower. That, yes. A, law, a lawnmower, lawnmower derby. Der, uh, mm. destruction derby. Remember he and got in the back Lawnmower car Thunderdome. Yep. Lawnmower Thunderdome. Episode thirteen or fourteen, right? Something no, like that. That's no, that's way no, later. It's way. It's like, it's like episode it? thirty something. Yeah. Really? Yep. She was gonna get in. Er, her her husband got in a car accident. He's looking. And then that's where they they fell in love. <laughs> PSA: Semen can get you pregnant. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> what episode is that? Thirty-seven. Oh my yeah, god! I remembered that's good. I was inside of you. Is this Joe's life story, like, on your podcast titles? 47, Riding <laughs> Mower Thunderdome. 47. Wow, deep then, in. Yeah, because we, we told that at Joe's. Mm-hmm. 49, which is misnumbered. It's not numbered, by the way. Yeah. You have a mistake. Red box down by Dollar General. That's that was, a roll That was a roll one. That was a good roll one. <laughs> God, that was a good episode. And then we had Alex... Mm-hmm. Alex and, and Rolo, and then we had Alex. We had we had Rolo, Alex, and then Alex and Rolo together, which was fucking that great. story was amazing because he was like hitting on her, and then you guys set it up where he didn't know she was going to be on the show, and it was a gag. I love it, mm-hmm. absolutely, yes, fucking brilliant. Just like we set it up to be on the show without him. I fucking love it. It was brilliant. Uh. <laughs> This Boy, is me the giving, strip. this me coming down for a one hundred is me giving my thirty percent of podcasting to you. Fuck yeah. So, it was, I'm glad to be here. And you know, me inviting you like a month or two ago was like my 30% of getting you here. (laughs) Yeah. Like six months ago, like we were talking and we're like, what are we going to do for episode 100? Well, it's tough because we, we live stream on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. What can you do big on Tuesday? I was like, we don't need to do anything big. Maybe we can get some big guests, Mm -hmm. but we don't need to do anything big. We can just do a regular ass show with some awesome fucking guests. Yep. Yeah, and we talked about like getting you down, getting branded on, maybe getting some people on that we've never been able to get on, and then it evolved into why don't why don't we try and get Nate and Brandon on together? <gasps> that would be cool. And then oh. you know <laughs> if they if they hash out their shit, that's all on them. You know, we'll just sit sit back and yeah, do our thing. No, but it, it's it's a very big deal to have both of you here because. Mm-hmm. You both got me into podcasting. Amen. Yeah, you Amen. were my first guest. You were on my show. As I was one on of your show. Earliest guests with yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. First, for the very first metal cast. Yep. Uh, that was recorded in my old game room, which is now my child's room. Dear diary, mood apathetic. Blank. Yeah. With one microphone because the whole my, my computer yeah. wasn't able to do multi. Which is hilarious because I brought my first interface. Well, and see, it worked, but slowly. The Tascam. Uh, no, oh, even before that, it's it's an M audio <clears throat> like fast track. It's a it's a one mic interface. Oh, it actually worked. So but, my, so Torres and I were sharing the mic for that, and he was he had the I other had mic. that one, and then I had to just use my audio because it worked. But as the, as the podcast went on, it slowly got more disjointed with mine. Oh no! To where at, at first, as I heard it, I'm like, okay, it's only like a little bit, so I can just move it over, move it over, move it over, and then it got worse. That interface where, is sitting behind you. In that closet. Oh. Hey, Interface, how's it going? Uh, anyway, so, you know, that that was the first show that, that, that you were ever on, Blaine. And then, of course, uh, we did Middle Cast 2, the debut album. Yeah, after, okay, yeah, that's right. Crowdfunded edition. The, yeah, the crowdfunded yep. edition. That was after we did 50 of, of JIC. Which premiered later. Which had the most people. I can't believe we put that together. I can't believe we pulled it off, even though it was Fuck. like... Like that, that was, episode was the most episode, like they're the most not fun episode to do. Because you, you had be, your baby shower that day, didn't yes! you? Yes, there was yeah. a lot going on that day. But like we had to, we had people skyping in from California, from Philadelphia, and we had people. We had to get everybody in this room that was hotter than fucking. Because we had to turn the air off because we thought the mics would really pick it up, which I don't think it would have fucking mattered. Honestly. Uh, uh, no, but 
at the end of the day, no. Because what we did, we had them off. We were all cooking. We split the show up into two halves. This, this, these guests on this half, these guests on this half. We were playing games. We were doing random origins, doing all this shit. I, you were, you were hosting. I was like co-hosting, but also running the show over here, like just. The Spe- fucking noodle man. Speaking of, I'm so glad you played the actual like original random origins. I just put a clips show. thing together. I'm, yeah, I, I'm I didn't so do an order that, or anything like that. I that thought, was so funny to listen to. It takes you back, man. It does. It really. It does. also makes me think about the 30 percent Blaine put in the first time I asked him to do anything, because I'm like, hey man, we're going to be doing something. I need you to give me these things. And he goes, okay, cool. And he gave me the most complex fish to try to fucking say, and I'm like, you're not going to be. Whatever this complex fish that I'm not going to be able to pronounce, man, that just doesn't make sense. <laughs> complex fish, Coelacanth. A Scythalacanth? Coelacanth. Coelacanth, yeah. He knows what it is. So I don't. I couldn't say that shit, Sorry. It's considered like one of the oldest living fish on the planet. Okay. It, it, it's a living fossil. So he was going to be, well, what's the word again? Coelacanth. Coelacanth, man. It doesn't really sound as cool. Really so I was fuck, like, fuck it, really fish cool. man. They are cool. Because they were man. thought extinct So it's fish man, fucking noodle man. Noodle mm-hmm. man. Their the cowardly sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were thought they were thought extinct until 1938 when a random fisherman in India caught one in Whoa. his net. What the fuck we got going on here, Cletus? Well, I don't know, Cletus. What we got there? Cletus and Cletus. <laughs> it's Cletus and Cletus, Indian version. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I, they're the hillbilly Indians, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. How would the accent go? Ooh, two for thirty-two. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, uh, like, the first couple days Got that I worked there. The, the first couple days that I worked with Brandon, he was like, you know, we had that big fire drill. Oh yeah, yeah. And I was outside, like, yeah, I'm a part of this group now. Yeah. And then you're like, hey man, we have a podcast network. You should check it out. We talk about video games and stuff, and I was like, uh, fucking amateur podcast. <laughs> like, I'm going to listen to that. Little did you fucking know. Little did I fucking know. <laughs> I would be a part of it, and I would love it. Man. I and I have Blaine and Brandon to thank for that. Yeah. The, 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 like the Butterfinger BBs of my heart. Hey. Ooh, I like that, yeah. We begat. Yeah. We begat. They begat. Mm-hmm. We be got, we be got. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get you. I see where you're coming from, dude. We are just fucking podcast juice no. all over this joy. <laughs> no, soaking it all up. You know what? That little is? fucking cervix eye just gobbling up you know, all I don't that like, podcast okay, juice. Okay, so back to Tiffany. Oh, I don't, God, I don't like to body shame oh, ever. I do. <laughs> but her, she I'm deserves kidding, I'm it. Kidding, folks. So she, she had a just fupa, myself. She had a fupa that oh. fucking Tyler would be like, "Hey, Blaine, <laughs> I think mean, I'd do it to anybody, <laughs> anybody that I was working with." Or he'd text me, "Hey, Blaine," <laughs> and it, it, I'd be like, "What? <laughs> it's prominent today." <laughs> <laughs> I'd be working with somebody. The first like, time he did it, I was like, "What?" He goes, "The fupa, it's we, prominent." Like, like I'd be working with somebody and. Like I have, I have these these weird, like I have such a vivid vivid imagination. Like vivid. I have, I have these weird scenarios pop into my head. So before I get to the Tiffany one, I'll, I'll tell a quick one that happened yesterday. Towards the end of the day at work, I was cutting some cable, fabbing some stuff up, and like I just happened to like 180, like about face, and look at a person that I work with. And we have a running joke where I work that. Uh, this young man is is uh, pork in this older woman that works for our company. She's a big gal, you know. She's like she's got enough white rain in her hair to fucking suffocate somebody. <laughs> like this is a running joke. And I was, and I just I I turned around and I looked at him. He didn't look at me. I just looked at him. And in my mind, I played out this scenario. This young man on a mountaintop overlooking fucking Gatlinburg, Tennessee. He's got his leg up on the overlook guardrail. Yeah. One hand on the fucking shoulder of this lady. Just plowing her. Just he's got a fucking That's a good position too. He, he's got a American flag bandana on. She's wearing a fucking wife beater, no bra. Fucking her tits are just flying everywhere. In the wind. Kapow. In the clapping. wind. An eagle screeches in the background and he just takes a Mountain Dew and just fucking downs it. <laughs> astounding. <laughs> astounding. Like that whole scenario played out in my head in a fraction of a fucking second. 
Totally. So I'm working at, at the monotonous job of Subaru, and I just glance up at the perfect time. <laughs> it's just there. As the, as the panda pivots, and I see the fupa oh my gosh. in all of its glory. Just, And the only thing that came to my mind, yep, <laughs> <laughs> I was, saw it. Was wow, that fucker's prominent. I had a really <laughs> weird theory about the fupa. So, um, as we know, uh, she accepted Joe's seed. All of it. All of it. Um, she gonna take that seed. And then she had the she had the scare. Oh yeah, she had the scare. The but scare then, of 2018. But nothing came of it. So it I started just, thinking. That's reflux. <laughs> <laughs> Which you gotta remember, at my previous job, I worked with a lady. Oh, that's fucking I worked amazing. with a girl who was my age, who uh, full term pregnancy did not know she was pregnant. Went to the hot, thing. went to the emergency room because she had to poop real bad, <laughs> and it ended up being a baby. <laughs> so, so when the when the Tiffany scare was going on, I was like, "Wow, that's two jobs in a row that I'm gonna fucking experience this shit." Because oh she took God. that seed. Oh, no, I, so I had this theory. I was like, okay, so she has all these asthma attacks, mm -hmm. constantly trips over shit. Preach She's, it. She is. She should be extinct like yep. the panda. Panda. Like the pandas. Natural selection. Natural Don't selection. Don't give a fuck about the panda. Nature is trying to kill it, but it's not happening. It's just too strong. <laughs> it's got too much power. They, they think about this. They're, they're, they're later <laughs> like... So my theory was <laughs> the fupa was sentient the mm -hmm. fupa was was God. taking in the seed well her, well i guess her no. it was deriving power from the seed her uterus it, was taking the seed mm -hmm. and making it, a fetus it, and the fupa was absorbing the fetus to yep. gain power yep yep it was crying <laughs> <laughs> Just by the look of it, it was fucking crank for sure. I you cannot guys. confirm nor deny. But I, I would be working on any station and just glance up, and I always knew where Tiffany was at because she was eating something all the time. Obnoxiously. Not obnoxiously. She on the was, floor while you yeah, all were working? Yeah, fucking Isn't eating, that a problem? Yeah, making noises. Well, who's who's has, could, having asthma attacks. She had a bag of cough drops. That wasn't actually cough drops. It was just candy. It was candy. It was a fucking bag and of halls, would, and it was just candy. She would shove like seven or eight pieces of hard candy in her mouth and go, "You guys want some candy?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was polite. She at least always offered. But I would glance up from wherever I was at, and I would just fucking hone in on it. And then, as soon as conversation lulled or started to die down, I would I would spring into action. It's hey prominent. man, hey man, what's up? It's prominent today. <laughs> and then they would have to look at it. They could not they could not fucking help themselves. He is not lying. Okay. So we had a job where you had to put this thing up. Are you talking about the hatch jig? God okay. damn it. Okay. So like I keep there, so like there's metal and these and these and the screws are all rusty, they're all old. And she just she can't keep her mouth shut. No, no, like no she she would always have her tongue out when like, she was working. Yeah. So then she went. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> what are you doing? Are you okay? She goes, good man, saving in my mouth. I'm like, well, maybe if you shut your mouth, you wouldn't have that issue. So this is what she would do. This is her counteraction. <gasps> and hold her breath. <laughs> she was a total mouth breather, bro. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> and she, she got the middle shavings in her mouth. She goes, yeah, I know. I got, I got sealer in my mouth once, too. Wasn't the white stuff I wanted. Oh my oh. god! Oh. And I went, ah! <laughs> okay. ah! I don't know how many times she hit her head on a car. Oh man. She started having to wear a bump cap. Well, yep. that was because Cameron shut a, a hatch on her. Yep. Oh, oh and then. Because she, she, yeah. she walked underneath it. Yep. And then she couldn't remember getting hit. I'm she, said, don't. she said he was a danger. Mm hmm. Cameron so, was a danger. I'm going to leave behind the green screen for a minute, and sure. I'm going to walk in as Tiffany. <laughs> So okay. just just proceed. I I'm going to gonna do it as he walked down okay. the hallway, and it was my entertainment for the day. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's great. It was great. Hey, speaking of guests on Podcastrophy, how's that fucker doing? Say what? Cameron. He's, uh, I don't know. He's been on Second Shift for a while. Uh, he, he's doing his own thing. He's got a girlfriend. I know that much. Oh, um, 
people have go. complained about him being too obsessed with the girlfriend, you know, which is okay. He's, he's young. He's 21. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. ready I'm this? super ready. I mean, it's going to be random. There's no, there's no com- knowing when he's going to come in. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you look like fucking Mike Wazowski, bro. <laughs> Like, the only unfortunate thing is that it wasn't a long enough stride for you to be able to get the full sway of the of, of the body and the hips. We well, can do a demonstration because, after the show. Yeah, you can her give ponytail me a full... used to like, yeah, be her, like a metronome. So, so not only did she have the, the metronome ponytail, but she had this Kentucky University, the Kentucky Wildcats, uh, like drawstring backpack that she would wear. So that would be swaying back and forth because it was full of food. And then <laughs> she had she had keys that she would clip to them. So as she's dang, dang, dang. as she's waddling down the hallway, which is a long, it, it's a good hundred hundred and fifty yards. It's a long way down right. the hallway. It takes me ten minutes to get from where I'm at to my car if I just don't stop. Yep, it's it's a pretty good it's a pretty good distance. Damn. Um, and and all of us at the end of the day are walking at a pretty good pace. Because, you want to go home? Well, it's not it's not even that you you want to go home really bad. It's just that there's so many people leaving at the same time. You want to get to your car as fast as you can, get out of the parking lot because you got to fight a, you know, you got to fight 7,000 other people to get out. Damn. Um, you know, when I started, there was close to 9,000 people between both shifts. So you figure 4,500 people working at a time, and I'm sure there's a lot more now. We have a lot of accidents out there. People yep. be in a hurry. People get. We had a dude uh, that tried to wave at somebody else. Oh, God. He's like, and, th- and this guy's a goofball. I-, I have nothing against this guy. Yeah, totally. Anybody's a complete goofball. He's like, he's trying to wave at somebody with their red light, and, and on his bike, he's not wearing a helmet, <gasps> hit a Dodge, a Dodge Charger. Oh, fuck, bro. He done fucked up. Is he fucked up? He fucked up. He's still out. Oh, man. He, he's got broken legs, broken hips, broken head. Holy shit. Broken nose. He done broke it all to himself. That was uh, Fonzie. Mm-hmm. Ugh. But, uh, like, she would, she would not have any speed throughout the day, all day. And then as soon as it was time to go home, she would travel 300 fucking miles an hour down the hallway. And, like, you could just feel the fucking chafe going on in that oh pace. Oh, my God. You could just feel it. And she, the way you know she's funny? the way she's waddling and that fucking ponytail's going back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. Kind of sloth. <laughs> you know, kind of sloth like. Yes. She's moving to poop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know so like like right away I, I keyed in on it and I was like, man, this has got to be a thing. It's got to be. So I the entire time I worked there, I intimidated or I imitated it. So damn, bro. I, it. I, I I'm sorry that I can't do it anymore. Regularly. Because, like, it's sad to say because, you know, it's essentially me bullying her. But, like, it got to the point where, like, she would tell me stuff that she wouldn't tell other people. Oh, Like, no. very similar to the, the Blaine Street story. She started doing that to me and not to anybody else. Oh. <laughs> because her and I worked together so much. And, like, at one, at one point, and, and it was Brandon, too, for sure. This came up in my memories today. I, I shared a meme that was like, how many days till Halloween? How many days? How many oh days till God. Christmas? And I shared this meme. Uh, and this came up in my memories today. Oh. I shared this meme because we came back from shutdown. Okay. And like one of the, f- I, I was on quality <clears throat> gate. I, I was checking cars, you know, and Tiffany, it, I'm, I'm on quality gate with Tiffany and Brandon. So sweet. I at least have half a good job, which is with Brandon. It's a really good job. Fully, it's like f- live podcasting. Fucking Tiffany leans over to him while they're both inside the car, and he goes, six months till Christmas." <laughs> <laughs> so her- this is like the first, the first day back from shutdown. Like we haven't seen each other for two weeks. He's been he's been having a good time not being around her. Oh, mm-hmm. totally. Like well, Tyler had just line. left like a month before. I had just left. Oh. At okay. the, at the uh, end of June. Six months till Christmas. <laughs> so, so, okay, here's the thing. You know me. You know me a long time. Oh, I know you a long time. Lay back guy. You just. I don't know if I should if I should just say it myself what you said to her, or if I should let you. You say it. He goes. He he like she says. Six, six months, months till Christmas. Christmas. 
And you, he just Brian I just, stop. He just completely stops what he's doing, and he just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> So her and I were her and I were work, her and I were working together on that job. Okay, that was a job that we worked together quite a bit. And good I'm old, at the back of the car. Good old sixteen. Good old station sixteen. I like that job a lot. It was nice and relaxing until the cobra showed up. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm doing my thing, just not talking to her. And she would talk to me the entire <laughs> time. Didn't matter what time of day it was. Didn't matter what job we were on. She would she would at me across the car and talk like I would be on station eleven like doing my thing going as fast as I could because that was that was one of my least favorite jobs because of how fast it was totally you finish your job you turn around the car is in your dick immediately you have no fucking lag time at all and everything has to be perfect or. Uh, a certain manager who is a awful fucking worthless human being is right down your neck trying to crawl up your dick and say that you're an awful person. Um, oh, fuck whoever that is. Yeah, she's a, she's a cunt. Um, Great use of the word. Uh, so, like, she would be yelling at me across the car, like, as I shut the door. I'm looking at her closing the door. I can't hear you, Tiffany. And then, like, in the transition to the next car, she would still be talking. <laughs> and it would never stop. So we're on station 16. I get to the back of the car. We're doing our thing. She lowers the hatch and she goes, I went to a party over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> and, I, and I said, okay, cool. Did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> we went to the next car. We're doing our thing. She lowers the hatch. She goes, yeah, it was one of them pure romance parties. And I was like, wow, those are fun. Cool. <laughs> and she's looking at me like this. <laughs> Slack jawed. Okay. And just looking at me like Bubba Gump with his lip hanging out. Gotcha. And she goes, I bought a penis. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, sta I'm standing oh, back fuck. making eye contact going, and I went, what? I bought a penis. I bought a big dildo. <laughs> and, and then, without saying anything else, she did this. And, and, moved, and moved on! Story <laughs> over! Just moved it's on! Done. And, and we went to the next car, and she wasn't saying anything, and I said, T Tiffany? <laughs> did, you, did you just tell me you bought a big dildo? A big penis? And she said, yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what did you say to that? <laughs> and she started, like, at that point in time, like, Joe had, had fully kicked her to the curb. Oh, yeah. But you could tell, like, Joe was still, like, staring at her, and she was talking to her. He was talking he about was her obsessed. all the time. He was obsessed with her. He was Weird. obsessed about how much he hated her. Yep, and, and how much she wanted him. And, like, we would be talking to Joe or as a group, and she would walk up and stand, and then we would leave, and she would follow us. She, she'd stand right behind him. Yeah, like that. And he would be like, Fuck! Go away! Ah. Okay, so Joe kind of had a bad year. Okay. Okay. Joe had a terrible. His <laughs> dog pissed on him. Terrible. No, okay. That, that, you watched that? <laughs> yeah, this is that. He was witness to that. <laughs> Look. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be fair to the guy. Okay, sure. He had, he had a rough go of it, and he lived. He lived his life. No matter what anybody else thinks, he lived his life. Yeah. You can have your own opinions about what he may or may not have allegedly done. Okay, sure. And, okay. No, but he, he did it because he said he did it. Right. He told us every single story. And so, it's, like, it's you're, you're getting it from the horse's mouth, folks. Yeah. This, yep. ain't, this right. ain't drama. Yeah, yeah. All right. so, I, think, I think she's the one. <laughs> so, one of his bigger mistakes, and one of the ones that woke him up, was Tiffany. Baby girl. Okay. So. Baby girl. She, she falls in love with anything that. Remotely bats an eye at her. Anything that. That, that has climaxes a inside of her. It, she falls in love with anybody who has a house. That <laughs> she where, is where what she we stay. call homosexual. homosexual. She sleeps with people to get housing. Mm -hmm. Oh. Because the toe. The toe is a big point of controversy for, for her home life. You know, it makes the, the animals smells, sick. Yeah. Makes the animals sick. <laughs> This so was pre. This sharks, was pre Rocky. Mm -hmm. So there's no. There was no. There was no animal to get sick All except right. for Joe. All right. So like, you know, 
I, she was up Joe's ass all the time. And, we are and terrible human beings. She's a terrible human being. To do not so is Joe. <laughs> yes. I tried to like get her mind off of that. I'm like, I'm like, you know, like he kind of had a bad year. I'm like, you can make a calendar, like, like a pinup girl calendar. There was like a girl a month almost, right? It was. Yep. She was Miss July. That's what I called her. <laughs> for, for a lot of time, it was Miss July. Yeah, to <laughs> Joe. Damn. In Miss July, and she, I told her about all these other girls. One died. Um, <laughs> Killed fuck. herself. Really? No, Odeed. It was this oh. weird situation. It was the time involving, when he was living with Rolo. And it was involving Rolo, too. Involving Rolo. Oh, man. Uh, there was a, t- a lot of different, a lot of different stories. We don't have to go into that. Okay. The importance is she was. She felt disgusted. Oh. I went. I next, in the next, next quarter, I went to Joe. I'm like, Joe, just to let you know, I told her, but I did it for a reason. Because if she's disgusted, maybe she'll quit. And he goes, can only be that lucky. And we just went on doing our thing. And then we stopped for a while. Probably like 45 minutes later. Didn't we have like a big gap? Uh, we bumped. So, so so basically when it bumps out, it means the cars stop. We cannot move anymore. Because the there's stops. the line Something's stopped wrong in up front ahead or behind and the cars or... Uh, above and we mm-hmm. just stop. Well, she, well I, I'm talking to Joe, just like right here. Mm-hmm. You know, he's talking to me. And like per usual, he has no spatial awareness. And so he doesn't realize this. Like, I'm looking right behind him like this. <laughs> now, if I'm doing this and he's talking to me, he's going to be like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, Joe doesn't do that. I, it, it's been multiple <laughs> times. I, I, I do it out of pure entertainment at this point. And I'm looking right at Tiffany. And she's just standing there. And then finally, he stops and he looks behind him. And he goes, and she goes, Hey, Joe. <laughs> what are you doing tomorrow night? Doing this live voice, please. And, he, and then he's like, Please, <laughs> please do it. As Tiffany, either one, it doesn't matter. He's like, with Sly. So it's like, so she's like, uh, "Hey, yo, Joe, <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing tomorrow night?" And he's like, "Come on, I got band practice." <laughs> and then she's like, well, "It's not Tuesday." <laughs> First off, he didn't just well because okay, I, I missed the line. She, she goes, what are you doing tomorrow? He's like, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? Why? What? <laughs> what the fuck? She, he's like, I got band practice. He didn't say no. He's like, I got band practice. And she's like, it's not Tuesday. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the weirdest conversation. I was, I, wasn't I standing there for that? You may have walked I think up, I, right? I, I, I think I walked up. Because I'm on the other out. side going, oh, my. I had just told her all that, and it, and it went. <laughs> And it blinked. Like, it, it was like a goldfish memory. <laughs> this man's got a penis. Dude, like the dude quantum leaped into her body. He's like, you cannot leap until you fuck that man again. <laughs> remember? Grip the fucking right. Remember, remember, the, remember the letter? Galaxy of the Guardians? Well, that's what prompted dances or wolves with dances. Right. Oh man, she drove to his fucking house and left a letter, like a love letter, in his oh, fucking man. mailbox. Before Ask, the taking of the seat or after? After. after this is this after is he after was like, seat. look, no more. I made a mistake. This was a mistake. Please go. And he started to kind of pull his. He's like, I need to, I need to stop. He's on like a drug addict going. <sighs> I've seen the hair of my ways. Please, Lord Jesus. Well, by this point, he had already been like on Plenty of Fish and Tender and all mm-hmm. this shit. Girl after girl after girl that was just standing him up, yeah. leading him on, blah, 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 blah. Going on like dates with chicks that Richard would try to set him up with. and or that, like, They both they've got, got hooked up with the same girl on, on POF or mm-hmm. Tinder, and they both met her at the same bar together. Or he would, he would uh, fucking... So, did they double team that? No. Oh. Richard would find a girl, and then that girl would have a friend, and then yep. he'd hook him up with. That was the friend that 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 died. That was one of the friends. Oh, oh yeah. Well, the one that died anyway. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Those were the there friends was a that witch. died. <laughs> there was one that died. There was Tiffany. There were several suicides involving Christine. Joe. Christine was a big one. But that uh, was that, that was girl. that that was a uh, that's that's a, that's still a current thing. Oh. Too. He still hangs out with her. Yep. Was that the one? Uh, the, the Professor Joe's, Joe's pizza one? Okay, yeah. yeah. Yep. But like, yeah. Uh, 
she like in her love letter, <laughs> she asked him to watch Galaxy of the Guardians. Okay, so she's like, <laughs> maybe we could watch Galaxy of the Guardians too, and I won't fall asleep this time. Jesus. Christ. So then we were like. We gotta get future to the back. <laughs> I mean, we just we all we were just on a roll it. with like all the backwards titles. Oh my god, we're going to Park Jurassic. Yeah, we did all kinds of <laughs> shit. All of them, dude. We did so clones many. of the attack. <laughs> hey, you want to go watch that uh, kids karate? <laughs> <laughs> Up knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> It was so, many. so wowie, wowie. bad. We came up with so many. Oh. It, it was just never ending because, like, up until she left, because she left, she left after me, right? Yep. Or did yeah. she leave before me? No, it was after. It was like September would be a year. Yep. That's why I thought it was funny that she was messaging Joe. Did we used to work together? And I'm like, this hasn't even been a year. But it was mad. It was mad. Mm -hmm. uh, misinformation. But, uh,. I'm Way so to glad, it back I'm in so there. glad that we, we reminisce on the show and then we reminisce on Panda. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's been it's been a big part of the show. It was a big part of our lives for basically a year. It was. Year. You know, it was mm -hmm. a lot of content. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I don't know. A lot, a lot of laughs. It, it was rough for us all because, like... A lot of laughs, a lot of cringing. Like, Brandon Blaine and I would all try and, like, help Joe at first, <clears> too. Like, they had been dealing with it a lot longer than I have. So like there's there's one station I've been dealing with it since 2013. There's one station specific, specifically station 14 where you're above the car and on the of the platform opposite to you you have to look at the other person. Like you either look straight down at the car or you look at the person or look out into the abyss. Like your options are very very limited. So whoever you get on that station with you you want it to be a good person that you like to work with. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Brandon and I didn't get to work together very much. Blaine and I, in, in the there. beginning, was quite a bit, and then that petered off. Um, Man, when me and you were on 14, that was some of the best podcasts we never recorded. Mm -hmm. But it also, you know, it made the day go by faster. Mm -hmm. we, had a good, we had a good time. There was one time where we were so excited, because it had been the first time in, like, a month or so. Mm -hmm. And we were talking, and everyone was like, you guys are talking so loud. And we didn't even hear them. Nope. <laughs> nope. We, we were so excited. Yep. We just fucking totally oblivious to it. I have didn't to restrain care. myself. So right now, Teresa, since Teresa's back, I'm no longer writing the schedule. Except mm -hmm. she lets me write first quarter out so she can take care of other things in the morning. Mm -hmm. I have to restrain myself from working with Brandon. <laughs> like putting myself with Brandon because I want to have a good conversation. I would do it anyway. Yeah, fuck yeah. What are you doing, bro? But uh, Calvin got mad because I keep putting myself on quality first, but it's just the easiest option in terms of, like, what if they need me somewhere else. Right. But I, I would work up there with Joe a lot. So yeah, in a would. in a very, very, very... Imagine now. He knows more jobs now. Mm -hmm. Wait, Joe knows more jobs? Yeah. Oh, he knows shit. all but one job. I thought he knew all but one job when I was there. No, he learned the other side of that job. <laughs> no, he learned the other side. <laughs> so where you would be, you became like hitched to him. Yes. So in a very, very <laughs> short <laughs> amount of time, like I learned Joe's entire fucking life story, and like, and then he got a dog, and then he got a dog. <laughs> Pissed on him. And, well, he got a dog, and I was like, he was asking me questions about how to take care of this dog, and I, you know, like, I consider Joe a pseudo friend. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna help this guy out. I've tried to help him out, uh, like relationship wise. He will not listen to me, so I don't give him relationship advice anymore. Like, cause I'm the type of person I like with Blaine. I gave him financial advice for a long time. To deaf ears. To deaf ears, and I was like, you know what? I'm just not gonna do it anymore. But I didn't get mad at him. Like Joe would listen to what I had to say and reply back and play along and do the whole scheme. And then totally ignore it. That pisses me off. Don't spit in my face. If you don't want to hear it, just say, hey, man, I don't want to hear it. I'm Let's not, talk about something else. I'm yeah. not interested. Let's talk about something else. And he spit in my face through his uh, uh, fucking fractured tooth for so long Whoa. that I could not handle Whoa. it. Hey, so, so I, I got just, an update on that, by the way. Okay, give me an update. Uh, he has a consultation. He can't get in for a consultation on his teeth, which is removing the teeth and getting in and it. Uh, Implant. Uh, until October. Totally fucking bullshit. So he tells me, 
guess I'm getting prescription Oakleys. <laughs> wow. Okay. So <laughs> he, he like, shoves the mic away. <laughs> it got to the point where I started just like, <laughs> I'm only going to talk to Joe about a finite amount of things. Sports, which he's not educated on, not an athlete. He's a band dude. And then it, it, it got to the point where he would just ask me like these obscure things. Like he would walk up to that station. Let's talk about World War II. <laughs> oh, okay, Joe, let's talk about it. And he got this dog. And he's asking me how to take care of it and, like, how to potty train it. And, like, my family has bred animals, raised animals of every every kind that you can imagine. I, I know how to take care of animals pretty well. Sure, yeah. And he's reaching out to me asking me for my advice. And he would do it in confidence with a straight face and then immediately run to someone else and be like, he doesn't fucking know what he's talking about. Ah! Really? Yeah. And it fucking, for a long time, it really bothered me. <clears throat> That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Because he, he was trying to look big and tough. So, if Matt. <laughs> hey. That's uh, Waldo. Waldo. That's Bobby Waldo. Matt. Uh, you, you came over to the house a few times. How would you describe Joe's house? Oh, thank you. Thank you for bringing that up. How would you describe Joe's house? At the time, I don't know how it is now. Probably worse. Uh, I, from, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, not clean. Uh, uh, describe describe uh, the aura, maybe scent. Piss. The total ambiance. The, uh, the aura, was. it seemed very dark. And, uh, yeah, not a lot of natural, the, all, all natural lighting, actually. Yeah, compact. That's good. Yeah, the smell was that of uh, open spam. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, that's amazing. We must go deeper. How long? How long has this spam been opened? At least three weeks. Three weeks. Has it? Has oh, it seen fuck. any sunlight? Twenty-one days, folks. Oh, that's. Has it? Was it like opened? So, like, think what? Of the can. Okay. Picture that metal piece. Yep, it's just peel, peeled up. back, yep. And then it sat in that on that countertop for three weeks. Did it get any sunlight? No, because Joe doesn't have natural light. <laughs> Your wife comments, so smelly. Oh. <laughs> she was in there once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it was not pleasant. And, uh, it smelled it smelled like a combination of spam. I really, I really dig that. Yeah. Foot, like athlete's foot. Athlete's foot. Cat piss. And splooge. <laughs> Salty. Almost Pringles can. Oh. Almost. Mm. I hated going over there. Like, I dreaded it so, every week. I think I only ever went there one, one time. One time, and I was going to get to there. I want you to de describe your experience. What were you there for? Okay, we came to drop off something to you guys and marriage also license. to sign the marriage license because oh, I okay. had to officially sign that. I don't remember. I think I dropped me to dro dropped off beer for Nick again or something. Okay. It was something to that effect. But I had to sign their marriage license, so I go over there to do it. And like two minutes into being there, I, okay, I've been in houses that have that okay. kind of musty scent. Let but, me set okay. the scene. So sure. this day. The wind was so strong, it knocked power out for that entire area. That's right. Your house was without power. Yeah. I do recall, yes. So they have no power. It's it's like still kind of warm out. Joe has no reason to be in his bedroom. He is walking around holding Rocky. Okay. And then all of a sudden, we hear him go, Oh, he pissed on me. He's, Oh, God. Rocky. 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 So <laughs> here's, here's the part. Hey, that, Rachel's in here. What up, Rachel? Here's the thing that gets me, okay? Ah, he's off. gone for like a second and he comes right back and I'm like did you shower and he's like I just changed my shirt <laughs> a dog just straight up pissed on your shoulder bro what are you doing now Nate describe the color of this piss this urine it was a white shirt right it was a white shirt it was a white shirt it was very yellow it was very neon yellow yeah like and signifying dehydration yeah good point Good point. This, it's hard to get a dog to drink a lot of water. I, my dog doesn't drink that much. Well, that dog drank very little and pissed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, by a lot, I mean Piss all factory. over the fucking place. <laughs> and shit. And shit. I was over once, right? 
Yeah. Episode 50. Almost a year ago. Right about a year ago. Yep. Okay. Okay. You know, went over there, hanging with my buds, geeking out some, on some Chris Farley. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we you know. And then, of course, you, get, you start talking Farley. He starts getting all excited. Oh, yeah. He starts getting all riled up. He you went know, to Van, live in the Van Down by the yeah. river? Yeah, you know. Of course he did. He's all, like, getting all excited. And then he spills. He knocks over one of these lights and spills the beer and hits the carpet, which activates which activates the, <laughs> like the cat piss. So Joe's Beer previous activates. roommate yes. got kittens out of the blue. Just and then out just of the, locked them. And then he just left them in that room. Locked to, them in to, everywhere. To, that, that room is the only world those kittens knew for who knows how long. Whoa. Six months to a year for yeah, sure. Yeah, six months to That's a year. That's crazy. So they, they pissed all over that room. So that room just smelled naturally. Like cat piss. Like cat piss. The closet was super bad. Oh, yeah. It was bad. Like, I urine gone to the shit out of it. And it still, still, you it, can't it was, get that shit out. It wasn't Urine's until... Still here. I mean, so <laughs> after after I after I really took care of it, like, Miranda, like, fucking... She shampooed the shit out Steam of it. Steam cleaned it and shit. Steam cleaned it. it I urine gone it again. All the way. You know, it was... It was it was bearable, but as soon as he spilled that fucking beer, it was just reactivation. <laughs> I was like, oh! you're, you're like, God, it smells like fucking piss in here now. <laughs> yes, it was like Billy Mays. But wait, there's more. <laughs> like it was so strong, you could almost see it like like a mirage in a video game, like rising up from the fucking floor. <laughs> the, just God. the fucking stench lines. I yeah. remember when Cameron helped me move out. Like we got uh-huh. the, the heavy, the, he helped me do the heavy lifting out of the, like, get all the stuff out of the house to move into here. And he's like, there is an aura of piss around Joe's door. <laughs> <laughs> Cause at, after a certain point, Joe started uh, keeping Rocky's uh, crate in his room oh, and no. he didn't clean it out. Ever. Oh, it no. would just be lakes of piss on. Okay, oh. so he also got this water resistant pad, like a puppy pad. Puppy. It wasn't a puppy pad. It was like a bed, and it was water resistant. He thought it would be a good idea, except he didn't clean it off. Uh. It just, there'd be it'd shit just and piss all over it, and, and it just puddle and sit. Yeah. Oh, all God. day, <clears throat> because that dog never learned not to shit and piss in its own crate. Damn. That's because bogus. Joe could not I, I don't know how it is now i do not i cannot comment uh i i would hope it's better i would hope it's better Spe- god es- hopes it better especially since you know he's actually gained like a good sensibility about himself H- how's the the cheeto flakes i don't know I, haven't, I i have not paid attention to joe in a while does it still look like lay's potato chips are made in his ear i haven't been paying attention either <laughs> however i do want to bring okay. something up i channeled my inner you uh, earlier last week. Okay. Okay. Randomly. Mm-hmm. Randomly. <clears throat> I don't know why, but I started doing my announcer voice where it was going to be Jesus versus Satan. Ooh. Right? <laughs> okay. And it's like, <laughs> in this corner from Bethlehem, <laughs> weighing in at 135 pounds. A bit light, but okay. Uh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Jesus. Christ. Right. Christ. <laughs> and in this corner from the depths of hell. <laughs> Weighing in at 435 pounds, Chris, Chris Farley. <laughs> well, how you doing there, Jesus? Yeah! Woo! Yeah, man, I tell you what, I came all the way down here from the seventh fucking level, man. And I just want to ask you, pal, what are you going to do with your life? <laughs> I want to be the Lord and Savior. <laughs> well, how do you freaking die? You know what that's going to get you? Just like me, living in a van down by the river sticks. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, thank you. So I have to, I have to, I have to say something real quick because it's awesome. It's also a little bit sad. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I, he uh, needed that. I knew you would have loved that. He, he's been recharged. Oh, spiritually. I am. Um, the uh, the building that Sarah works at up in Chicago is the place that oh, Chris yeah. Farley died. Yeah. Aww. And she li- she works like two floors above where he lived. So she went to the floor and like paid her respects and shit and said that there was like one door. Every door is the same looking door, but there's one door in that r- in that hall that's black. And she thinks that might be his. Mm. That so, would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. What was it? The Hancock building? Yes. Very good. Yeah, look at you. R.I.P. Chris. 
Word. Greatest comedian of all time. That was an awesome uh, impersonation, bro. You mean bro. Herbie Hancock? <laughs> well, see, the thing is, I've never actually did it until last year. It was the first one. Why was Jesus only 130? <laughs> That's what I said. A, I they don't have, have, hey, they don't have a lot to eat in Bethlehem. Well, Middle you East, know, when you're turning in the Middle water East, into wine and man has fallen from the sky, you're living on complex carbs alone. <laughs> also, <laughs> one fish and one bread, dude. They eat light. One fish, one bread. And Every they, single one. They can people. only eat fish temporarily. They got time frames. <laughs> they got the Sabbath. It's not really fair, but every single depiction I see of him, he's pretty famished. <laughs> so I just assume maybe maybe that's just how he rolled. Jesus just never walked in looking like Terry Crews is what you're saying. No, exactly. Yeah. No. Mm. Wowzers. God that is damn. hands down my favorite comedic character ever. Fucking Chris Farley is the man. The motivational speaker. Like, oh, yeah. It is always relevant to any story. Like, you can be doing anything and just break into that and just let it roll off of the tongue, and it will always be funny, and it will always make sense. Like, if if Chris Farley was alive in 2019, I would vote for that man to be fucking president. Word. Just for him to play that character in the fucking Oval Office. <laughs> What's funny is I always I always dog on the fact that Trump is always speaking right outside his helicopter, so he's got to shout <laughs> every day in the fucking lunchroom. We're sitting there. Up oh, there's Fox News. Oh, uh, looks tr- Trump's fucking talking. In f- Why the fuck does he talk in front of his goddamn helicopter all the goddamn There'd be no time? No problem with Chris. He'd be like, "Well, you know what's up right now besides my cholesterol? <laughs> Jobs." <laughs> Uh, and what do you intend to do about the, the marijuana, sir? Well, you know, I like to have a little fatty myself now again, but, uh, you know, we got to take our time. We can't rush into things right there. We got to, you know, we got to think about this logically and methodically. I mean, 11 states have done it. Some don't want to do it. Man, it's not right to force them, but, you know, change happens overnight just as the Supreme Court. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck! That was all oh, love. God, I'm, I'm about to listen to Vain in my head. God, when he's fucking bent over and he's pulling his pants up and slapping his knee. <laughs> oh man! Wow. I want to be a writer. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys watched any uh, movies lately? Uh, I actually. Uh, this I've got is, a few. I have a few also. So I watched two. Okay, you can go recently. first. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck you, Tyler. Apparently, Pet <laughs> Cemetery. Yep, watch that also. It's awful. Yeah, it wasn't that great. It was awful. And the new Hellboy. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, <laughs> was it better than Pet Cemetery? It was better than Pet Cemetery. Uh, I can't comment on the end because I ended up falling asleep. It was late at night. Oh. Uh, it was late at night, though. It was late at night. David Harbour. Awesome. Better awesome. than Ron Perlman. No. Thank you. David Harbour. Awesome. I love David Harbour. I do, too. I really dig him. Uh, I, did he do a bad Hellboy? Not necessarily. Not the Hellboy I wanted, but you know what? I enjoyed it. That the, the Hellboy wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Let us let the band back in. That was fucking awesome. Not the Hellboy I wanted, but overall, <laughs> he, he, did, he did great. I, I love David Harbour as Hellboy. It was, it was, it was so funny to see how much he just didn't want to do anything. <laughs> And there was a scene where he's fighting three giants, and it's just, it's just fucking hilarious. Just watching him struggle through it. How awful was Mila Jovich? Uh, barely in it. Thank God. Uh, very. That's where you and Mike would have a head, like a headbutt. Again, I fell he asleep. He thinks she's the like a goddess. She's. Nope. I mean, she might be a goddess, but she's not a good actress. <laughs> Overall, the yeah. movie was terrible, but worth the watch. Cool. I went to get it the other night. Um. I had a free rental at Family Video, and I went to, like, the Hellboy section, and all of them were gone. Yeah? All of them. I just bought four movies used from FamilyVideo.com because they on FamilyVideo.com they have used, used movie sales, mm-hmm. and they're between 5 and $8. Wow. And, this and is if astounding. You get, and then if you go over $25, it's free shipping. 
Cool. Shit. And one time I got a call, you know, like the last time I ordered him. It's like, I ain't answering this shit. Probably want money. Yep. <laughs> you know? um, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, okay, what is this? Hi, this is so and so from Family Video. I'm like, oh crap. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, hey, what's up? She goes, and she's from the Lafayette store. I'm like, what? what's about that? up? What's going on? She goes, I got a question about your order. Um, I'm just gonna. I, I, I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but you know, it says your. It says the name of your city twice. Yeah, that's an autofill thing. Okay, cool. I'll get your order out to you. Awesome. Damn, that's how it should be here, like in a day. Now they ship from Illinois. <laughs> What? Yeah, the, the the Lafayette store called me the other day just to tell me I had a free rental. Because they appreciate your business. Mm -hmm. So the movies I bought, Captain Marvel. Sweet. <laughs> I almost called it Dragon Movie 3, like my kid. <laughs> How to Train Your Dragon, the third one. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Creed 2. Cool. Haven't nice. seen it yet. I it's want good. to. It's real good. Blaine and I went and saw it. Um, we did a review on it. And then uh, Incredibles too. Cool, awesome. So, got movie. some kid movies. You got, you got some solid movies for twenty six dollars. For twenty six dollars, you got solid fucking movies. I know. And, and when did Captain Marvel come out? Just like in June. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, dude, like, yeah, because it was the Disney Movie Club movie of the month okay, for June. So, so out take, of all of those, Creed Two is the best movie. Mm -hmm. So take advantage. Take advantage of that if you have a local family video, <clears> or just go to the website. Go to the website. Go online. Because, you know, they get all these movies in for people to rent. They need to get rid of a lot of them. They have good sales in store, too, quite, they do. A, quite often. They do online. It's a couple dollars cheaper because I was like, I'm going to go right down the street because I got one. And it's like, yeah, online it's 8 but here it's 12 You mm. know, speaking of that family, that specific family video, it used to have a Marco's Pizza. Mm -hmm. That was a good pizza. You know Mar what? Mar it wasn't bad. Miranda introduced like Marco's me to it. Pizza. It was fucking wild. There's a Marco's Pizza attached to the family video by me that sells CBD. It's like on their sign, like, <laughs> now selling CBD Hell yeah, at Marco's CBD. Pizza. I'm like, pizza. All, the, Fuck all yeah. the family videos here in town sell it now, too. Fuck yeah. It's really? right up, yeah, it's right up by the cash register. Nice. Also, okay, so our family video doesn't have a porn section. That's interesting. Because they're right across the street from a church. That's interesting. Yeah, they are. All the porn's over at the church. Dad. Not the kind that he would probably like. Probably it's on the hidden cameras it's for not, the bathroom. It's not the mm -mm. Oh. It's not, it's not oh. incest porn. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> Come on down here, little choir boy. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about uh, my van I down by the river. I saw a movie. What'd you see? Oh, yeah. Blank. Yeah, you did. I did, too. You, you yeah. immediately told me you Sunday. hated it. I fucking hated it. I did, too. I, oh, thought, I, thought, you, oh, I thought you were okay about it. If, I, if eh. I wasn't there for my wife's birthday and with her parents, I would have walked out of the theater. I that bad, that's huh? what you said. I thought the pacing was so bad and the voice acting was even worse. It was. Damn. Uh, can, I, can I add, since no, you've I, already I, told Blaine your spiel, can I add to it? So... The movie one for one is almost identical to the original. Mm -hmm. They've 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 added a few lines. They've removed they have removed a few scenes. The voice acting was atrocious. Uh, Beyonce shouldn't be a movie star. You shouldn't hype up Beyonce as a reason to go see this movie. Yeah, I listen to JSC. Uh, <laughs> I was just getting ready to say it. Pretty pretty irrelevant. Um, say, listen to JSC. <laughs> this might be a little bit controversial. To me, the movie was just filled with a bunch of really famous African American people yes and they use that as hey come see the how did donald glover do mm. no Ooh, no pretty lackluster sad. not as good as matthew broderick huh? no bummer he, he wasn't even in it for like half the movie yeah damn matthew yeah, broderick young, young simba sounded almost identical to the original and jonathan taylor jonathan thomas, thomas mm -hmm. was so much nice better, so. it, it sounded very the, close though took the pauses at the right time that was my right. biggest problem with the film as it didn't let things sit mm -hmm. and wait, mm. and that left the emotion. Everybody talks about the oh, the body language that's in the animation versus there's none in this one. <clears throat> that didn't really bother me. It was the pacing of the film. It felt like someone literally put it on fast forward times two. Yep. And you were just like, oh wait, we literally just had this entire conversation. Even Mufasa, who's the same actor, James Earl Jones, felt flat. Yep. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't they get the same actor for Scar? They needed it. Mm -hmm. Jeremy Irons, Irons. Yeah. yeah. Scar was pretty lackluster. Okay, so the 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 voice actor for the singing voice for Young Simba from the original. Mm -hmm. What well, well, he only did one one song in the original. I can't just can't wait to be king. Yeah. Uh, he probably did part of Hakuna Matata too. He might have. Yes. Okay. So the, so so the voice actor that did the singing for that, 
he played young Michael Jackson in a Jackson 5 movie mm-hmm. in the early 90s. Right. And if you ever listen to I Can't Wait to Be King and you don't think Jackson 5 Michael yeah. Jackson ever again, because that once, once I heard that, I'm like, right. That's my head. That's Discount Michael Jackson. <laughs> discount Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it, it, it's pretty. The movie looks pretty for sure. Yeah. I mean, they, Visually they did what they set out to do making this. So, John Favreau directed this, right? Yes. Yep. And he did Jungle Book, too. Mm-hmm. Um, I enjoyed the Jungle Book. I did, too. Actually, I actually really. I thought. So, everything they did well with Shere Khan. Shere Khan was intimidating and a really good villain. Scar was the exact opposite. Well, and I think I think for the most part, Scar is supposed to be that way. He's not supposed to be in- intimidating because he's so, like, he is intimidated by Mufasa. But Jeremy Irons, when you were a kid, Scar was fucking intimidating. So the way because that they of made, how smart he the way was. they made Scar look, because I I haven't seen the film. I've only seen bits and clips and mm-hmm. trailers. I like the way they made Scar look. It's, Scraggly. And, yeah, yeah, I mean yeah, that up. looks really really yeah. good. Like like I said, the movie is very pretty. Animals look the way that they would look. It's also not live action. Right. (laughs) It's It's CGI. The most realistic looking lions without Behind the scenes Lion King. I mean, it's CGI, but it's portrayed. Andy Serkis on all fours, just (laughs) 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 round. Or real live uh, action. All right, so we actually shot this film back in 2000 with the help of Steve Irwin. All right! (laughs) We're going to make this movie with this big lion. Now, he's a big critter out here. All right. <laughs> Frame your camera up right here. All right, because I'm going to dangle this meat right in front of him. And we're going to get the shot just right. Oh, he's going to mold me too. The meat is actually his hand. <laughs> he's like, he just gets like, oh, you're all right, mate. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like, like a beta lion would look, in a pride, would fucking look like that. Because he's either going to get the fuck beat out of him and mm-hmm. leave, or he's going to stay around and just be like, hey, I'd like to fuck some of those lions too. Uh, please, please. Uh, <laughs> can I? Oh, yeah. oh I, Alpha's like. Oh, pfft, oh, I can't. My, I can't eat. My, all right, uh, I'll just hang out. Let me know when you're done. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and watch. Like Scar looked good. Like Timon and Pumbaa looked good. I hated. I hated that program. There were a couple times that I enjoyed it, but it's just it's not. Like the whole time I was like, why does Pumbaa sound weird? Why does Timon sound weird? It's hard the entire time to not compare it to the animation. Yeah. Because it is almost a shot-for-shot shot remake. Where and the animation was perfect. The, yeah. the animated film, the original was perfect. Yeah. And I mean, even though it is a stolen idea from Japan. <laughs> Kimba. Right. Kimba the, Lion, mm-hmm. Kimba the White Lion. Really. Yep, I remember watching that in Germany. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it kind of, I don't know, man. Okay, so all these remakes, right? Re, 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 I mean, you're remaking movies, uh, animes, cartoons, TV shows, video games. You know, it's like cool. Like if you want to do a shot for shot, that's a cool tribute in in some sense. Mm-hmm. But at this point, it's like you have a chance to retell the story from a different light, different perspective, a different storyteller. Mm-hmm. That's the idea of you know. Every, everybody says there's too many remakes in Hollywood. That's all Hollywood has been for the last century. Yeah, since it's, since the beginning of Hollywood, that's all it's been. Yeah, you you've remade movies that the that the generation before you made, and you introduce new ideas. Those ideas get remade mm-hmm. at some point. It, yep. It's a cycle. It's going to happen. And so even if it, you know, I enjoy a remake, even if it's not as good as the original. Sometimes because I like to see a different take. And you know, other times I just I see the redundancy and like, why did you just make the same movie again? Right. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, it's like. It's like when you well, like next year, Final Fantasy VII remake. I am so glad. I am so relieved. It's not just the same game. Right. It's going to be different. And uh, as a diehard fan of the original, if it sucks, it doesn't need to exist to me. It's dead to me. Because mm-hmm. you know it's never going to go away. The original. The original. Right. And that's the same way with this one. Well, and, and what was kind of sad going into The Lion King is I, I watched a uh, 10 to 15 minute long, like, um, mini documentary from from Favreau and some of his team, and and they were were very proud on how um, true to the original they were. How much they talked about how much time they put in as a team studying the original. So shots were from the same camera perspective, from the same you know mm-hmm. everything was exactly the way that it was supposed to be. And I think I just I remember very vividly from the movie like certain portions were removed like when Rafiki hits fucking baby baby Simba in the head 
you know, with his fucking stick. Oh, you mean adults oh, later on? Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Oh. Adult, not baby. Like, what was that? Like, it doesn't matter. It's in the past. Yeah, that's it's not there. Okay. Like, it's just the the scene where where Simba is talking to Mufasa in the afterlife. They it's take, dude, it's totally different. So much emotion from mm-hmm. that in the animated film, like. You hear Matthew Broderick just like begging Mufasa to stay with him. Yep. Mm-hmm. Where in this one, you know, it's just it's 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 like what I just did with Scar. Like, hey, don't leave. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna go fight Scar. Yeah. That's, okay. That's so how like, it was. You know. So it was, like this got met, this got brought up earlier with the Joker character and how he's so iconic and it, it, it. When you take a character who means that much to so many different people, mm-hmm. it's it's difficult. It doesn't matter when or who the actor is. It's going to be difficult for everybody to get behind that. You know, it's just the same thing with Pattinson getting cast as Batman. Okay, so so let's let's pretend that that project is like okay. So the dude gets it uh, with the guy that did Planet of the Apes, the new trilogy, right? You know, he gets it and he goes, "We're we 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 are remaking Batman '89, exactly the way it was, except we just have different actors." It, it, that it would t- feel cheap. It would feel cheap. I would much rather, you know. <laughs> Was sit down and watch, and like, all right, here's the thing. We have different versions of Batman. Modern day James Bond, okay? Same character. Batman's the easiest character to play. He's brooding. He's either angry about his past, emotional about his past, or angry and emotional about his past. Or doing the bat dance. <laughs> also true. Okay. So, yeah. so you have layers. Okay. Like an onion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> some, some of them stick to the Shrek right. fan base. And I, was, I was really stoned when I watched Shrek. And it was the best movie I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Like, I just remember, like, watching him, like, explain the onion scene. I'm just like, I get it, dude. <laughs> and then, just the fucking welcome to Doolop. Oh, God. Box. Mm-hmm. I'm just... <laughs> all right so what i was saying though okay. i would much rather see this director's this actor's portrayal of the character just like you have different artists and different writers come onto a comic book i'm gonna talk about my movies too and then you they get their chance to do what they want to do with that character seconds. i would okay. much rather see that than just see a retelling because i mean uh, superhero movies are, are retellings to some yeah extent, com- anyway, at least of comics of, of, of at least a source material but i would much rather see what this new version is and then place judgment on whether or not I like it. Because guess what? If I don't like it, there's other ones I do like, and there's probably going to be another one in the next 10 years that I might like. <clears throat> True. Yep. Well said. So I recently saw Midsummer in uh, theaters. Really, really creepy. Kind of scary. Yeah. Not as scary as Hereditary, but super. Same director, or mm-hmm. writer, or whatever? Same writer. Team. Yeah. Same studio, same everything. Um, super creepy, strongly urge anyone to watch it that's into that kind of shit. They are releasing a director's cut when it comes out on video that's almost three hours long. We'll check it out. So it's quite a bit of extra movie that's supposed it's to be... It's almost a whole second movie. Well, it's actually going to it's gonna raise the movie up to NC-17 Ooh, from, wow. rated, from rated R. Wow. So, so it's quite a bit of extra shit. I'm excited for that. Along the same vein, I saw the It uh, Part 2 trailer. Well, I've, I've seen that, but I saw the article today talking about how mm. the theatrical cut of the movie will be uh, like an hour and a half. Not an hour and a half. Two like an, an hours like, and 45 minutes. Well, that's the director's cut. I thought it was 15 minutes longer than that. Well, what I had read was they cut almost an hour and a half from the theatrical cut to Damn. make it in the movie. So. Wow. You know, I don't know what the official runtime is going to be, but I know they cut a shit ton from the movie that they're talking. They're throwing the idea around of that ending up in the director's cut when it comes out, which I think will be incredible. I got Skylar to watch uh, the original It uh, like a month, month I still and a half need to ago. watch the original It. No, well, Tim Curry. Fan. Oh, Tim Curry's always fantastic. She's never seen the original. What I meant to say was the the new version. I got oh, okay, her to part sit one. part one. I got her to sit down and watch that, and she loved it. Yeah. I thought it was great. I, I did too. I thought it was incredible. I, um, and I love the original. Like, oh, I, I do too, for sure. I thought it, like it was a, uh, you know, and it was a little bit more faithful, you know, to the source, mm-hmm. which is cool because you have the original. If you love it, you love it, dude. Go right. watch it. It's great. You know? But you know, Pennywise in in It Part One is fucking great. I mean, it's no, it's not Curry, yeah. but but it's still. Oh, he did a good job though. God, it was good. You know, it was convincing. Like you're this fucking interdimensional being that's it's fucking that's creepy. fucking eating people, mm-hmm. like. Like, yeah. it was great. Um, I also saw 
Us. How's that? It is the best movie that I have seen this year. Nice. Better than Endgame. Damn. Better. It is hands down the best movie that I've seen this year. It was fantastic. All if right. you like to get out, you will you will be hard the entire time. <laughs> I, I need to rewatch Get Out. I haven't seen Get Out. Dude, I need to watch them. If you have if you if you like the horror genre at all, Jordan Peele is the guy right now. He gets it. He gets it. And he he's he's passionate about it and he's being faithful to the genre and you know, some people in America are like, "Well, he's just using it as a uh, character piece for for black strife in America. Get past that. Just fucking ignore it. Pretend it doesn't exist, and love the movie for what it is. Because, like, there are twists in us that never in a million years would I have called. And Damn. Norm- and normally I can call. Perfect. The movie was perfect in every way. Right. Nice. You know what I'm going to be doing this weekend? It is. It is. It is. <clears throat> that movie made me think. More than the last 25 movies that I've watched. Shit. Because, like, you get a twist in the movie, and you're like, oh, fuck. That's why that, I mean, that makes sense now. But then there's a twist within a twist, and it totally doesn't make sense. So then you're second-guessing everything that happened. It's just, the the cast, the crew, everything is incredible. So, those are the movies that I've watched recently. Very nice. got a couple actors from Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Lupita Nyong'o, yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, she is fa- oh man, uh, Winston watch- Duke, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who he, played in Baku. Uh, yep, definitely watch the uh, like special features after you watch us. Watch the special features in Alita: Battle Angel. Excellent stuff. Yeah, I was gonna. That was how I was gonna close. I'm jealous that you got that steel book because I haven't got it yet. If you want to borrow, I'm it. just gonna buy it. Okay. Um, so in an attempt to bring this home, because we need to eat some grub. And some cake. I'm stoked. Yeah, we're all still wearing. Miranda our pants made some too. cake for episode 100. That's sweet of her. Uh, and she's also made us dinner. Whoop! So whoever wants to stick around, we got some stuffed taco pasta shells. Um, You're a stuffed taco pasta oh, shell. Thank you. I, I that that means I'm delicious. Maybe. What if I hate it? Well, that sucks for you. <laughs> uh, all righty there. Pal. So one thing I want to start doing <laughs> is like, let's let's start doing like a suggestion of the week, like. What's something you suggest somebody needs to check out? Anything Ooh. and everything. Uh, mine's the easy one. Us. Yep. Watch Us or Midsummer. Yep. Matt? Uh, one Punch Man Season 2. <laughs> Watch it. It's Rad. really good. Rad. Brando? <laughs> I haven't been doing anything. <laughs> Great nice. answer. Nice. Um, uh, I need to get back on it. But naps. I'm, I'm Check right. out some naps. Naps. No, that's. I haven't even been doing that. Damn it's it. It's in the realm. Um, I definitely recommend. Uh, it, yeah, I've fallen in love with the, the, the like the storytelling at this point. But uh, season two of Star Trek Discovery. Yeah. Like I'm digging it. It's so different and so familiar at the same time. Cool. Love it. Very nice, Nate. Uh, depends on which route you want to go because I have a couple suggestions. If you like documentaries, I'm really big into that. Like, it's one of my favorite things to do is like watch real people's stories. I think it's so much more interesting than, you know, storytelling and, you know, retelling of superhero stories and things of that nature. But like, I've been watching this series called The Staircase. Yeah. It came out in 2005. This is the one you told me about the other night, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, The Staircase is this guy, Michael Peterson. He and his wife are hanging out by the pool, mm. and she goes in to go to bed and he's out by the pool and then she goes inside and she's dead at the base of the stairs. And essentially things aren't adding up that he did it, but things aren't adding up that he didn't because oh, they're making, they're making, yeah, yeah, they're making like evidence exist that doesn't really exist. And, and, and they're really trying to fuck this guy cause he was talking shit on this, uh, police, uh, squad saying they they only solve 5% of reported crimes. They only they solve 30% of all traffic crimes, which is way higher, you know. But essentially, they find out like he has a secret life and then like the layers peel back. This lady that he knew when he lived in Germany died under similar circumstances, so they think he did that too and then the fucking prosecutors exhume her fucking body 17 years later. Like it's a crazy like but it's not like a docudrama where they retell it. 
this fucking French director got access to everything happening as it was happening, and you are living in those real moments. It's cool. fucking intense. Nice. On the flip side, if you like kind of um, more like inspirational type things, I recently watched on Netflix The Dawn Wall. Yes. I told you to watch that, didn't I? No, you didn't tell me. I anything suggested because, it. In, no, okay. I suggested it on Facebook in general. Okay. Because I that was recently awesome. watched Free Solo. And that won the Oscar for Best Documentary last year when Alex, uh, that guy, climbed uh, El Capitan with no ropes, 3,000 feet, you know. Uh, but this story is about this guy, Tommy, and, like, he when he was a kid, he was climbing. Like, at six years old, his dad was taking him up and doing all these crazy things he shouldn't have been doing. And when he was, like, 17, he gets invited to Kazakhstan to do this climb. They're 1,000 feet up on the mountain, and these fucking insurgents start shooting at them and yep. force them down. And they become prisoners. And then like, so that's like part of the story. And then you go to the, what the Don wall is, which is the same place that Alex from free solo climbed. There's a part of the wall where the sun hits first. They call it the Don wall, but it's untraversable because there's just literally, there's not enough to even grip onto anything. He fucking makes his own path and he and this dude climb it. Not free he, he solo. He also style. doesn't have a finger, doesn't he? Oh yeah. He loses a finger. That's an important thing to know. He gets his finger chopped off by a saw. So. He climbs it with one less finger, and it's fucking super inspirational and ridiculous. Cool. I yeah. love the Dawn Wall. That was a totally. great watch. Totally. Uh, my recommendation, so I got a couple. I've been watching this show called Euphoria on uh, HBO. It features Zendaya from – Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen trailers Spider-Man, for that. Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home. Uh, it's just this weird like high school drama series. Mm-hmm. But it's a, it, it also preview. is a little bit more adult too. It's they kind of like turn it up. It's very fucking adult. Yeah. Uh, but the visuals are really cool, and like the, the they do like these weird like in your head things or in the characters' head things. Interesting. They're, it's 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 very neat, especially Zendaya's part, because she's like the main character, and she's basically narrating all these people's lives along with her own. Um, just it's a cool watch. Very adult, cool. extremely adult. Um, my other suggestion is, uh, and this is a very current thing, very this week thing. Uh, check out if you're in the Lafayette area, come down to Market Square area this weekend, this Saturday, for the Bruise and Bowling Fest put on by Bruise with Dudes in the Doom Room in North End Pub. Nice. You know, uh, Nick's <clears throat> Nick's done a great job of bringing in a bunch of breweries to so you can try them out. Uh, we get free bowling all day as long as you get into the Bruise and Bowling Fest. There's an after-party show featuring a lot of great bands. So uh, check all that out if you're in the Lafayette area this week and you like good beer and you like bowling, come on down. It's 12 bucks. And if you're in the Columbus, Ohio area this weekend, <laughs> oh, yeah. come see Max Sabbath, O'Killy Dokily. That's this weekend? Playboy Man Baby and Walk Among Us. That's this on weekend. On the most Holy ridiculous shit. show. Yeah, this Friday. This Friday, yeah. That's right. On and the stages. Dude, and on no, the stage where Dime died, bro, I'm fucking slightly like terrified to go there, you know, a little bit. I, that that was one of the part. That was part of the reason I'm. I mean, I'm incredibly bummed to not see you open for Oakley Dokley and Max Sabbath. Yeah. As much as I hate Oakley Dokley, I think they were super overhyped and terrible. Um, a lot of people feel about you the same way. Yeah. <laughs> not damn. Gonna, not going to disagree. However, it is the Al Rosa Villa. And that is that is sacred ground. That is holy fucking ground for me. I'm metal. actually kind of like um, a little bit also like grateful I get to play on that stage, you know, because yep. I am going to get some sort of energy from that. You are. You know. I mean, knowing, being a fan and knowing, I think you will. Yeah, for sure. I think, I mean, Dimebag Daryl is a musician that absolutely changed my life and his death changed my life. So to be there and it, I mean, I, I think they've changed the stage. I think they built bigger and it's not the exact sta- same exact stage as it used to be. The building has been like remodeled a little bit, but still. I bet that back door still has all the stickers and shit. Yep. Oh yeah. Yes, it does. So, so. yeah, check out that if you're in the Columbus area. You know, that that's gonna be a great show. Walk Among Us always puts on a hell of a show. They have such a great energy, and it, whether you're into the Misfits or not, I'm not. I fucking love watching Walk Among Us. Cool. Simply because you, you mean you're my friends, and you guys, it's just fun. It's just so much fun watching the crowd. Even just watching the crowd's reaction to you guys. It's just great. Yeah. So. It's uh, it's about to pick up for us. We're about to get real busy. We have like every fucking week for the next two and a half months nice. we are on the road. Nice. So see so, us. So, Brando, 
plug your show. Do your thing. You guys ready for this? Y'all ready they for this? They look at me in awe. Like I haven't had like like they, they have a hundred episodes now, and they don't have a formula. I know. For plugs. So guys, you can check out the Game Addicts podcast, my podcast, over at GameAddictsPodcast dot com. You can also check us out on podcast services around the globe, including services such as Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, Podbean, TuneIn, uh, SoundCloud. We're there sometimes. Uh, you know, we're just man. If we're not on your favorite one, please let us know. Reach us out on our socials at Game Addicts Play. We also live stream the show on Wednesdays at twitch.tv slash Game Addicts Play, as well as our Facebook page and Mixer. We're on Mixer now. And we got our YouTube thing figured out for streaming on there. So we're on that. Also, every other Friday, check out the OGs. OGs. Oh, Shit. I can't Jeez, wait guys. for to do more of those <laughs> episodes. Jeez. I love doing that show with you. Yeah, no, the that new show spawned from this show. They're about to reminisce again. <laughs> no, not doing it. Ninety six. We're the already at episode four. Pilot. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe we're on episode four. Uh, episode. We've done three episodes. We're guaranteed eight episodes this year. Uh, after that, I will be taking a a, a hiatus. That show will be taking a hiatus. We are totally. filling in time right now uh, on the network to help out. And after that, we're gonna fill it out. We're gonna see how. You know, at least those episodes will be you'll be done after that. We'll figure out a formula, or it will, you know that like, that'll be on the back end. We'll, we'll figure that out. We're just gonna have some fun. I'd like to fill your atus. Oh, oh wow, <laughs> Jesus! I know, but yeah, go go. You know, please go check that out. That's basically me and this dude Nate. Uh, we're back together, slaying some pot ass. <laughs> we're getting the band back together. We're back slaying together, some... and we're telling some stories, pal. Slaying some pot ass. Slaying yeah. some pot ass. Nate, you take over Journey into Comics, man. Hey, Alexa, play Journey into Comics Network. Okay, now for all of you that have to listen to us, because that works now. Uh, <laughs> check us out at journeyintocomics.com, where you get the Journey into Comics Network, getting podcast free and all the great shows on our network. Get us on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher Radio, Google Play Music, Spotify, CastBox, TuneIn, and many others. Just search Journey into Comics Network. Also, hit us up on our Patreon, patreon.com backslash Journey into Comics, and give us a buck for early access, exclusive content, all that other shit. And, uh, yeah, that's all I've got for you guys. Thank these guys so much for uh, having Brando and myself on. Um, it's awesome that you guys are here at 100. It's an honor 100, to have you guys. 100. 100. Yeah. Thanks, it's an honor to have you thanks, guys fellas. as guests. And it's an honor to have you guys as co-hosts. Shoot. Shoot. We heard this well, now we're getting our dicks out. I know. <laughs> Check out Podcast V. I was just like, wow. <laughs> Check out Podcast V live every Tuesday, roughly around 5.30 or 6 on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. And you can check us out on the Journey into Comics Network, of course, on Thursdays and our own feed on Thursdays. iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher Radio. Stuff. And Podbean. <laughs> that's it, bro. And that's it. We get extra content on our feed, so <laughs> check us out. We got a Patreon too, so that's cool. Like when he puts months. it in thirty <laughs> percent, oh, I'm working on it, man. There was a while where I plugged so well, and then there was, and then I, it just ebbs and flows. Sometimes I'm really good at it. Sometimes I'm like, fuck it. I just want to record the plugs and play them at the end. That's what I said. It's not a bad idea. Actually, not a bad way to but do it. But I don't know AP how to do that. that. Should I do that after the outro song or no, before no, the fork? Uh, but then, then, then we have the because I always mix the outro song with me saying bye, guys. Which is easy to edit out. If it works. It, it works so well, though. I you like. Just, the I end, like the feel of you it. You just make it the end of the plug saying bye, guys. Ooh, and then it he got you right there, bro. The song like it's super, super simple. Script it. This is make behind the scenes. You know what I miss? You know what? You know what I miss? I miss the hard openings where I just started push record and like conversation was already happening. I still do that Last on week, foodies. me and him did episode three. I stayed up way later than I should have because we needed to do a bumper. Oh, We scripted wow. this motherfucker out. One take that bitch. One take that motherfucker. Guess what we did? We did two changes. And then we did it. <laughs> and it was over. And it was good. And it was good. And if that is all, that is all. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks and for please having us. Make every day a, a big, big dick, dick day. Bye, guys.